Less than two crew squad. What is going on, everybody? Hope y'all are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me once again for the Coveted Friday stream. The one and only, the only way to kick off the weekend, folks, and that is the pad. Hope everyone's doing well. Excited to talk to all of y'all. See how everyone's doing. What's been up? I've missed you. It's been a week. Last week, we didn't have no goose goose. So we went Friday to Friday, no stream. But we're here to kick off July in style, despite it being the 5th. Lots to talk about. Can't wait. Before we get any further, let me say hello to all the early chatters up in here. Tay hey, Hufflepuff. Hello, Cool Rider. Welcome in. Thank you for the Prime. Hope you're doing well. Thank you. Thank you. You know, you get one Prime, so thank you for using it on me for your 35th month here. Um, Via Bella. Hello. Psych. Hope you're doing well. Taylor. We got Canada in the lead right now versus um, Venezuela. Right? Yes. 64th minute, still a bit to go, but we hope they can finish strong. Daddy Becker, welcome in. Psycholo Sal's here. They were the prize up as well. Welcome back for your 26th month here with us. Appreciate you. Lauren, welcome back for your 41st month. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Lauren, Rai Guy, what's good? Mandy in the building. We got Chalet. Hello, Chalet. Wicked Tricks. Hello. I think it was the 23rd month. Wicked Tricks. I'm watching the Luna Island. Finished the mole episodes already. So, I finished. I'm caught up with Love Island as of. 10 minutes ago, um, but I'm two episodes and change into the mole. I basically watched the third episode until I saw who got eliminated and then switched it off. So I'm going to be completing that tomorrow. No spoilers, please. And thank you. Because love the 12th mother whole year. Love it here. We're happy you're here with us because love. Welcome back in with the crew. Welcome and welcome in. It's Yami. Hello. Welcome. Christine with the 23rd month. Thanks so much, Christine. Gold Canada. Yeah. Oh. Unfortunately, Venezuela has scored in the 64th minute two minutes ago. So it is a 1 1 game now. Christian, welcome in. Samantha. Hello. Hello. Tara Teeth in the building. We got Flinzel. Welcome. Hope, you've ha hope you're having a great week. Thank you, Christian Mingle. So far, so good. Week has been good. Lots to talk about with y'all. Can't wait to get into all of it with you. So we're going to get into all of it. And we're going to chat it up. We're going to do all the things. Before I catch up with the chat any further, though, let me go ahead and open the form in case people want to start putting in anonymous submissions. Let me just get that option open and loaded for you. All right. There we go. It is open and ready to go. Softy, hello. Love the Goose Goose VOD on YouTube last week. It was such a great one. Thank you, Via Bella. I'm happy you I'm happy you enjoyed. You know, whenever we're not we don't got a stream, I want to make sure that you still get your Goose Goose content if you want it. Whether you want to watch it that day, you want to watch it another day. I want you to have that option. And I'm happy that y'all enjoyed it. Kansas, thank you for the 39 month Kansas. Welcome in. AZ, happy pad to you. Jenny, thank you for the 35th month. Appreciate you. all get some less than twos in chat for yourselves. Please and thank you. Squad staying strong every week. We out here. Um, Jesse, thank you for the 12th month. Hello, hope you're doing well. Welcome in. My favorite time of the week. Respawning. Appreciate that. Happy you're here with us. Chrissy, hello. Steph, welcome in. Hello, hello. Your friend's been a few months. Good to be back. Jenny, happy you're back with us. Jenny, how you been? Psych, where you got Monka S going? What's going on? <laughs> we did make it through another week, Mandy. Happy to be here with y'all. Recovering from COVID, kick my butt this time. Oh no, Dupree's gal. I hope, I wish you a speedy recovery. Hopefully COVID goes through quick. Minimal symptoms, you come back stronger and you're good to go. We can see the process live. Yeah, the camera, I lowered it this week because it was a little high. And I felt like when I was reading the chat, like as I am right now, I felt like I was looking like this and I didn't like that. So I wanted to be a little bit more level. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's better. We'll see. <laughs> You're on the mend. Happy to hear that, Dupree's gal. Let me see. Tay Hufflepuff, Tay with 100 bits. Appreciate a beard looking strong. Mandy. It's looking a little over, out. Like, it's time for a trimming. Let's be honest with ourselves. It's time for a trimming. Especially the mustachioed part. It's too long. You can't even see my upper lip. Believe me, I got good lips. The upper lip is vanished right now. But... I do appreciate it. the beard is looking strong, but it needs to it needs to get weakened a little, if that makes sense. <laughs> Bree, thank you so much for the 18 month. Appreciate you. Thank you for the prime sub. Thank you. Thank you. From like half, it was a halfway goal. Oi, oof. Tennis Love Island was wild. Love Island's been hitting chat. 
Levon US has been incredible. Softy, you got to ask the question differently, I'm afraid. <laughs> You're behind a mole too? Yeah, I watched uh, two and a half episodes last night. It was fun so far. I forgot what it was like to watch the mole, as I've not watched one in, in quite a bit of time. Y'all know this. Uh, thanks for being I'm caught up on all shows. I even started Amazing Race Canada. Ooh, Dupree's gal. I don't know how many people here would have watched Trader, uh, Amazing Race Canada. I have not. Let us know how episode one was. Plinko, welcome in. Hello, Sal's here. We already said hello, but hello once again. Lori, hello. Kelly Kate. We got Russ, Honda Man Dan in the building, aka Dennis. How was your fourth mom? Was okay. My poor pup was so scared. He hit in the top. Oh, no. And your cats did fine. Our cats were okay. I'll talk about my fourth because uh, it was a bit of fun. A bit of fun. Can we talk about the comp from last night's Love Island episode or is that spoilery? It's grossly. It's not spoilery. It's just gross. We can talk about it for sure. I don't think we, we have a problem with that. I watch Goose to work. Keep the drops coming on YouTube. There we go, Bree. You haven't watched the new Love Island season? Jenny, if you have time, it's worth watching it. It really is. Speak for RJ fan in that I'm proud of you for watching any more kind of. Well, thank you, Russ. I have a feeling RJ fan will give me a little bit of a guff for um not having watched the og seasons but i do thank you <laughs> damien hello hey in chat finished up tonight's episode of love i'm currently losing it angelie same i finished it then i jumped on immediately simplifying the question to how are everyone's pets doing great question pets are doing good we had guests over this week and the cats were a little bit shifty about it but I'm happy to inform you that I did grab a couple cute photos of the cats this week. They ended up sharing the space on the taco bed, uh, the taco sh uh, blanket on the couch. So there you go. So they were happy. There's your cat update. And I got this photo of Clam full on sausage rolling it up on the couch. There's your two photos. There we go. Tar was fun because of Kevin and Gurley. There we go. That's good to know, Debris Gal. I'm going to show whole problem solved. Thank you. There we go, Jenny. Enjoy. It's a good time. It's a really good time. Those you season are much better use of time and so fun, Puya. Well, Arch Avan, the thing is, at some point, I will. I don't doubt that I will watch him. Right now, though, I feel like the one I'm more, most likely to get spoiled on is the new one, which is why I'm going to keep up with that. You know what I mean? So for that reason, I'll keep up with it for sure right now. And then we'll see where we go from there. But yeah. All right, chat. So while y'all are getting in, getting comfortable, having a Bev, you know, getting a snack, getting situated. I want to set you up with what my week was like. Because like I said, it's been a busy one for me. So this week I did. Hold on. One, two, three, four. No, one, no, one, two, three, four, five. I did five podcasts this week and the five podcasts this week were done in the span of about 36 hours, a little over 36 hours. No, that's a lie. 48 hours. I did the F big brother family feud pod on Monday. On Tuesday was my busy one. I did 90 Day Fiance. I did the Survivor 50 draft. And I did Love Island in one night. All three of them. And then on Wednesday, I recorded Traders New Zealand with Shannon. So, lots to talk about. Today. You want to talk about any of them, you let me know. Okay? My comment is that I fast forward as much as I could. But I still saw a dude spit out two full hot dogs at once. It was so nasty. Because, love, to me, that wasn't even the nasty round. That was maybe the best round of the three. We got to the middle of the second round, and I was like, we're fast-forwarding this. We're going to triple speed it so it gets through. Uh, Lion Paw was so good. Thank you, RJ fan. I had a good time. I had a good time with Kirsten and Scally. It was great to get to talk about um, Love Island. I had a good time with it. Family Feud was fun. Family Feud was a delight. I'm actually very happy with how it played out. I came in not knowing what to expect, and it was a great time. It was a great, great time. Um... Time view was really funny, even though I don't know BB history. Well, Softy, I'm happy you enjoyed it regardless. How many people did the draft? Plinko. It was me, Rob, uh, Taryn, Shannon, and Chappelle. Five of us. Five of the drafters. Well, four and Rob. So five people drafted. 
Uh, no move matter this week. No, we couldn't end up landing on a schedule time schedule time for it. And like I said, I'd guess for the Thursday and Friday, sorry, Wednesday and Thursday. So I couldn't commit to a podcast. And then we just agreed to uh, do it. Uh, what's it called next week? A double up for next week. So I haven't even watched the MILF Manor episode from this past week. So I don't know what happened in it. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, production of Milfana was uh, sorry. Family Feud was so good. It really was. I, I it really felt like an entire like we were on the show in a weird way. Like if the show was on Zoom, that's how it felt. Like we were there. <laughs> it was a fun server to fill out. Just casually sent it to some friends too. That's awesome, Flinzel. I'm very happy that I didn't look at the form ahead of time because it was fun to not know what questions to expect. Um, did you already do the traders draft? We don't typically do. Oh. Well, I did a trader's draft with uh, Scally and Matt, but we don't do a trader's draft on RHAP. We don't do it for the pod. We already did talk about the cast, though, on RHAP, but I did do it with Matt and Scally over on uh, Free Asians last week, I believe. Did you celebrate your first 4th of July as an American citizen? I did. It may have gone differently than how people would describe a 4th of July, but I personally had a good time, so I'm not going to complain. It was great. Um, so myself and Liana, we were hosting this week. We were hosting uh, the lovely Peridium and Perida wife. They were here for two nights with us, and we had a good time. Uh, so yesterday we watched. So yesterday, first we went out for pizza. We went to the lovely New Haven staple that is Pepe's. Got some good pizza. Um, and a fan actually. So we were seated by where the bathroom is. We we're in a booth by the bathroom. And a fan, someone had gone to wait. Like we were by where the bathroom is. So people were like waiting there to go to the bathroom. And a fan recognized my voice and Liana's voice. And then had come back later to say hello, which was very cool. Very nice of, uh, nice of her. So shout out to her if she's listening. Um, and then after that, we came back home, we played Mario Party, we played some Sky Joe, and then we watched the mole. So all in all, good time was had. Oh, and we got to watch some fireworks from outside the window, which was nice. Collab video coming soon? No collab video. We didn't record anything. We just hung out had a good time. Uh, they, got, they came over Wednesday, so they watched Traders New Zealand with me. And then I went and did my podcast. Then the next day we did all the stuff I just described. And then we went out for lunch today and then they went about their way. But yeah, it was good. It was a good time. And he should be playing Goose Goose on Sunday. So you, you will hear him there come Sunday. <laughs> but it was chill. Mario Party was hella competitive, y'all. I almost won, but I didn't. So we don't need to talk about it any more than that. <laughs> all right. Let me just quickly see what's going on in the form. We got two questions in. If money and vacation time was not a problem... What places out of the U.S. would you want to visit with Liana? With Liana is an interesting one because my immediate thought would have been Vegas, but Liana does not like gambling, so I wouldn't want to put Liana through like the gambling capital of the world. Um, I feel like that's not a vibe Liana would be into. So I would say... Hold on. Let me confirm that this is... Hawaii could be a shout. I feel like I would love to see Hawaii at least once in my lifetime. Um, let me see. USA States. <laughs> but personally, I do want to see Vegas as well, obviously. Um, at some point in my life. Um, so those are two. Those are two good ones, I think. And then... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with those two. I'm going to stick with those two. Outside USA? Oh, my God. So many. I want to see Croatia. I want to see Spain. I want to see Greece. Um, those are my ones in Europe. I would like to see Thailand. Um, yeah. A couple island ones. I want to see some islands, too. Independence Day means you watch the most. I stop. Exactly, RGA fan. There you go. There you go. That's exactly what it is. Another question in the form already, and that is, how does it feel to do five podcasts in that amount of time? Was it stressful at all? Okay, so Monday was not stressful 
Tuesday was stressful because I know that we got guests coming. So I got to make sure that I set up the house and like do my part in, you know, cleaning and getting everything ready. Um, but then on top of that, I had to watch 90 Day Fiance and record 90 Day Fiance. I was put up against time, which was tough. So what happened was we had, so the, the Survivor 50 draft podcast was recording at seven. Jason, who was my lovely guest this week, could not record until six. So I had a one hour window to get on the call with Jason, chat up a little bit, record the podcast, immediately leave and jump into um, the, uh, what's it called? Jump into the um, Survivor 50 draft. So then I had to do that. Then Survivor 50 draft went about two and a half hours. That finished. I had time to microwave some food, eat it, watch Love Island, because I the episode came out while I was on the draft. Finish that, then hop on with Scally and Kirsten. So for about seven hours, I was just in this chair, barely moving. So that was a lot. I would recommend Azores. Azores, if you like islands. I like that, Jordan. I'll put that on the list. Uh, Chris, uh, Chris, I, Chris Aishi, where, where are you born with nostalgic? I don't know what that means. Would you like to elaborate, Chris? I would appreciate that. So, in summation, not that stressful outside of Tuesday. Because Wednesday, I had the Traders pod just to watch, the, watch the two episodes, get on with Shannon. I made sure with Shannon that I pushed it to later at night. So, I recorded at 11 p.m. At that point, you know, the per diems had come in. They've settled in. They're chilling. We hung out with them. And I can just go to the podcast um, after. So, I did that. So we ended up working out fine. I think the hardest pod to do, the hardest pod of the five though, I think would have been the Survivor 50 pod because New Zealand too, it's always an easy time with Shannon. Love Island was a fun, chill time with Scally and Kirsten. And I already have known what I want to talk about on there. So that was easy. That was good. And 90 Day with Jason was a breeze as well. So I think Survivor 50 was the one. And I didn't study for Survivor Field. Like, it's not like I went and, like, recap, refreshed my mind on stuff. I just hopped in and did it. So. Lala! Thank you for the primes. Appreciate you. Welcome back for your 23rd month. Appreciate it. I had no idea New Zealand 2 was out until I saw the pot of my feed. Say, oh, listen. Happy to break the news for you. Happy to break the news for you. Um, Luckily, I was able to find the episodes relatively quick. So we were able to jump on and do our watch and record as early as we could. So that was great. That was great. Dainty, we certainly could. I don't I wouldn't want to spoil it for people. But that being said, it was incredible. Love Island is on top. Oh, here come Chow and Liv talking in a coded language that I do not understand. Uh, but no, Love Island has had no misses. I tweeted about this earlier. They, it's literally been incredible chat. I highly recommend it if you're not watching it. You want drama, you want entertainment. You want people getting mad. You want people getting sad. You want people getting happy. It's got everything. It's got everything. Too many shows to keep up with in reality and BB26 is about to ruin us. You're not wrong. You are not wrong, friend. Uh, because Love Island is happening right now. The Mole is happening right now. Um, Traders New Zealand has begun. Then you're going to get Big Brother. Then you're going to get Claim to Fame. And I'm sure there's more that I'm not watching that some of you may be watching. So there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on right now. So it's best to keep up as well as you can. <laughs> oh yeah, Challenge 40. When is that premiering, Flynn? When is that premiering? That's the question. Oh, and House of Villains Season 2. This is true. Yeah, get brace yourselves, Chad. It's gonna be a busy summer. Just obviously Serena's forever an icon. We we been new dainty, of course. Um, if you weren't a podcaster slash streamer, what would your career be if you had to support yourself financially without Liana? What job would you pursue? I mean, is this a I can get the job? Like it's a it's a dream job. I feel like you know I have a communications degree. I would love to work in media still in some capacity. 
I feel like, I mean, Loki, I have picked up some skills that I could maybe apply to other parts of it. So it would be something in that realm. And if all else fails, we go back to bagels, chat. We go back to bagels. Because that's something we know how to do. <laughs> have watched Love Island or the people there that seem to genuinely like each other? Yeah, 100% Kelly Kate. 100%. Uh, Chow. Use, do exclamation advice or use the pinned message that Mandy has already pinned. But if I see any uwu or fufu, you're going to be in trouble. Just saying. I can become a bagel influencer? This is true. I could do the thing. I go around the U.S. and taste different bagels and rate them. Give you the definitive number one bagel in America. <laughs> a bagel. T Imagine though me a bagel TikToker. Wild. Walling, appreciate the lurk, Walling. Welcome in. Try not to yell too much in your ear. <laughs> um, also, heads up, I believe I shall be playing Blood on the Clock Tower tomorrow at 2 p.m. Check out twitch.tv doing more for that because I do not think I will be streaming Blood on the Clock Tower. I think I'll just be playing for tomorrow. Um, that's like, at least that's where I'm currently at. So doing more on Twitch, Twitch.tv slash doing more, M-O-O-R-E for your blood on the clock tower needs. And then on Sunday, happy to inform you, we will be getting Goose Goose Duck back. So we should be having fun there for sure. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. <laughs> I could review different bagel holes. I mean, I'd be reviewing the flavor of the bagel itself, but I guess I could do that too. I guess that's an option for me. So yeah, we'll see. But what did everyone else get up to for 4th of July? Let me know. How did you celebrate Independence Day? Tell me, tell me. The logo for your show could be Puya, but the O's are bagels. Jordan, the, the career rights itself. So... If I ever fall off of streaming and podcasting and this is no longer my career, you know exactly where I'm going. I'm taking my talents to bagels. <laughs> AZ! Woo! AZ! Thanks so much for the 10 gifted. Appreciate you supporting the stream show and love to the community. Welcome in. Johnny Macklin, boys, CPAL, Unruly Cheese. I am sick and twisted. Squeegee Evie, Riggleton, Totally funkless against Steffi. Cassie, obsolete Lins. We're not part of the Less Than Two crew. Compliments of AZ. If you are gifted a sub, throw some Less Than Twos in for AZ. Show your appreciation. And if you're part of the crew, give our newcomers a welcome with the Less Than Two as well. Hey. I'm not going to lie to you, chat. This week has kind of went by very quickly because I forgot that I have not streamed since Friday. Like, I have had days in the middle where I was like, man, I've not streamed for a minute. But then it, like, went by quick. And now here we are with another Friday on the pad. Big chilling with the squad. And I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to be back. I've had, I had a tough weekend last week, if I'm being honest with you. Wasn't feeling my best um, last week. But I'm happy to be here now. We were in our new pool for the fourth 48-year-old and made it. Hey, there we go, Jenny. Congratulations. Kalita, you were asleep by 10 last night. Relatable. I think it's relatable content. Um, But yeah. Yeah, it feels nice to be back. It feels good to be back right now, chat. You're going to blink and then Big Brother's going to start up? I mean, it's we're practically there, right? Uh, Not next week, but the week after. We are less than two weeks. Nice. Less than two weeks away from Big Brother now. And it's going to be a lot, but you already know the content's going to continue contenting here. We're going to have some Big Brother stuff by, in the form of the um, the cast view, first impressions of the cast. We're going to do that together. So we're going to have fun with that. Then there's going to be a draft. Then there's going to be feeds. Then there's going to be live feed updates. We're going to be busy. Psych! Thank you for the 37 month. Appreciate you. So ready for BB? Same. There's some things I'm not ready for. I truly, 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 truly hope. Truly hope. That we get 
less than 90 days for Big Brother. Give me 80 days. That's like where I want to be. We fight us again. Of course, Softy, forever. Forever and always. And as long as there's live feed updates and I'm around, I'm going to be there for Fridays. Um, unless I'm asleep <laughs> or I'm out of town or something and I can't do it. But 9 out of 10, I'll be there. Yeah, 85 is good. Yeah, Topsy says last year was too long. I agree. That's a big ask. Chat. If you could only pick one of these, would you pick 85 days or night one feeds or no first night elimination? You can only pick one. Which one are you picking? Go. 75 day BB fiance. Exactly. So I'm seeing 175 days and then a lot of night one feeds or no night one of limbs. Got to wait for not wanting 75 days. I think it's like the caveat there is that in the event that 90 days is too much, you could we could always just not watch the remaining two weeks. And by that, I mean, just keep an eye on it on the low, but not really be on top of it on top of it. Um, but yeah. 85 easy. Well, that's not an option, Sam. It was 75. <laughs> well, that's what you do every year. Oh, there you go, Jordan. Yeah. So for me, for example, I've talked about this, but when it's a long season, if I start losing interest, I still keep an eye on it. I keep, I watch key moments. I, you know, I keep up with the discourse. I listen to the updates, but I'm not glued like I would be otherwise, if that makes sense. It's so unfair to have a night one elimination. I hate a night one elimination. Um, I just hope that when the feeds come on, it's not like a, we've been like a week in. But I'll take second night feeds. That would be nice. That would be nice. <laughs> Start doing that about halfway through. Kalita, it all depends on, for me, it all depends on the energy the season's bringing. Because month one is always must watch whether it's good or garbage i always watch the first month connected locked in the second month is when it's a make or break for the season if it's set up well there's like opposing alliances or fun structure good strategy good social game keep me in good fights i'm in we're in we're locked in and then it's kind of an inverse with the third month the third month almost always even if it's a banger I start feeling fatigue and I might end up caring less. But the thing is more often than not, it's not a banger. So it's kind of like a slow, slow burn. But yeah. Damien, they were redeeming the less than twos. We'll put them in the chat for you. Pat Tab, welcome in. There was a certain BB 25 where I didn't watch anything for two weeks at all. I was just out. I mean, Jordan, other content happens, traveling, friends, the summer. There's so many things going on. And if we've been in a trance with big brother you snap out of the trance you're like oh my god i need to must touch grass must do stuff <laughs> Doing 70 day bb can style is just too short like i just needed an extra stretch how much extra though flinzel you think two weeks is needed i mean like for me 70 works fine it's like it's ending right when people will start missing it or be over it kind of thing listen to every morning i figure something happens he'll tell me you're not wrong as far as strategy goes, definitely. But obviously with the nature of the live feed updates, sometimes you're going to have to sacrifice some of the other stuff that happens. Um, it's like, I don't know if I said thing with the 37 mom, but I do appreciate it, friend. Thank you. Um, but then sometimes when there's a lot or there's, you know, like something that's more important on a strategic side or a social a house dynamic side, that'll get covered. So you'll miss some of the funny moments. Or like some of the silly memeable moments. And that stuff is, is always good to look. Keep it on socials for that if you ever miss it. Um, longer season also means they get crazy with rewinds, battle backs, ridiculous formats. You're not wrong, Deez. Yeah, that's the thing, Flinzel. BB Can is like, was doing what, 14 person cast last, last season? So our premiere is 70 days from the BB premiere. And there was already filled out the rest of the fall schedule. 
So are you saying you think it's 70 days, Red Wings? It also depends on the same format. If you spend 30 days with like six people, it can get really boring. Absolutely. Especially if it's six people you don't care about. Oof. BB can 5 was the only thing you can't remember feeling fatigue near the end. BB can 10 for me. Um, Biologique! Thank you for the Prime so Appreciate you joining after that Casa more recoupling. Phew! It was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot of fun, though. Biologique. I wanted to make sure that I was going to go live after I watch it because I'm not going to not watch it before I sit here. I would like to know. I don't want to get spoiled. I don't think you would spoil me, but if I end up forgetting after stream and then browse Twitter and get spoiled, that would have been brutal. Wouldn't be shocked if they skipped Wednesday in the final week and have a Thursday finale for 71 days. I mean, I would take that. BB can't tell us a good shot. Thank you, Chow. Appreciate it. We got a new question in the form. I do not have a new question in the form. Sorry. It was um it was a lag on my computer. So we're good. Um do you have any ideas when we will get the cast? I assume this week. Uh I would not assume that because love. I will be very upfront with you and tell you that I do not have any information. I do not have any information right now. What I do have is a hunch based on the last couple of years. I would be, if I'm booking time off from work, I would be booking time off on Monday the 15th would be my bet. That would be my bet because I don't trust them to give it to us sooner. Ideally, they give it to us like Friday the 12th because that's a day, that's the weekend. You get to look at all the cast, learn. I don't think they'll do that. They'll drop it on us last second like they've been doing. So I think Monday the 15th. And then that kind of works out if the draft ends up being like on the 16th, premiere on the 17th. That's kind of like wedged in perfectly. But yeah, I think 15th. I feel like it's been a Monday the last two years. So... But yeah, it's hard to know because for all I just said, they could release it on Monday and who knows, you know? I need to be able to binge it. How am I supposed to wait till Sunday for the next Love Island? I know. Well, RHAP fan, once you catch up, it's fine because outside of Wednesday nights and Saturday nights, you, you have content from Love Island, which is good. It'll keep coming strong <laughs> on a daily tip. Oh my god, they're going to penalties? Do they not do extra time in Copa America? I guess not, shit. Chat, I need to open it. I need to look at these penalties on the side. I need to look at the penalties on the side. I need to look at penalties on the side. Where is this? Uh, do you not have this, the matches on this website? Canada versus... Where are you? Shit. I don't think they have. Oh, there it is. Found it. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, it's in commercial. Okay, cool. But yeah, penalties are a lot. T today we had a lot of penalties uh, um, because Portugal and France went to penalties as well. Um, any Portuguese fans quickly going to talk about football for a second i am a big fan of manchester united i love manchester united i will always love manchester united and cristiano ronaldo was a big part of man united so i will always have an appreciation for cristiano ronaldo cristiano should not be playing 120 minute games cristiano should play 60 minutes or get subbed in in the second half because he played every minute of the entire Euro, and I think he cost por uh, Portugal. I really do. He really cost Portugal, in my opinion. He just don't got it like that anymore. And that's, again, not to do anything with his legacy or one of the goats, sure. But he doesn't have it in him anymore. Who does he think he is? Pepe? No, you're not Pepe. I'm new to Discord. Okay, well, welcome him better late than never. Uh, can you explain how the roles for Big Brother work? I.e. live feed alerts, house meetings. Um, yes, I got mods in the chat that can also assist with me. He almost scored an extra time. Liv, technically everyone has almost scored if they've shot the ball at the goal. 
The man had four games. Sorry. Five full games. Two of them, 120 minutes, could not score one. And he's standing at the tip of attack, you know? He felled off, unfortunately. Um, all right, where were we? Yes, so the roles. If you're in the Discord and you're trying to get involved, you're trying to watch the feeds, you're trying to get notified on things, this is what you can come to expect when it comes to the roles, okay? There's a live feeds role. If you register for that, it'll let you know when someone's streaming live feeds in the Discord. You can just jump in, check it out. Boom. We have a conch alert. The conch alert will be sent out if any big feeds moments are going down and someone is streaming it. So if it's a fight, a house meeting, that's what you do for that. Then you've the you can use the um what's it called? The BB26 channel for that, of course. We're gonna be adding a live feed chat where you can do it without spoiler tags, talk about whatever you want, whenever you want. And in the BB26 one, you know, keep it keep it tagged if uh, it's fees related. That makes sense. Yeah, Francis scored three goals total through five games, two of them own goals, one penalty. Still no get uh, goal from open play, which is wild. Did you already plan to watch Amazing Race Canada? Boyku, I don't think I'm going to be watching Amazing Race Canada. Um, I've been very honest about Amazing Race. I've not watched... Oh, this goal from Venezuela was actually incredible. Um, I've not been watching Amazing Race for many years now. Um, it's not captivated me in, in a while, and I don't think it's going to begin to now. I will be rooting for Kevin and Gurleen, of course. So I hope they can, they can clutch up, but... I don't think I'm going to be keeping up with it, especially with all these other shows coming up and all the shows I'm in right now. It's going to be a lot, you know? So signing up for live feeds roll is your day-to-day. -day. Conch is only if you want a notification for something big. Yeah, if you're only looking for the fireworks, conch. If you want all the things, the other one. I think Team Fun Season was the last Amazing Race season I was captive of by. I didn't even realize they do na team names for everybody. Rice is doing Amazing Race 5 first watch on Purple, pa uh, Purple Pants, and it's great. Tar 5 was a good time. Even the Survivor BBC and Amazing Race I checked out on. It's not the same for me. This last season of USA was the most boring. What made it boring, Bree? What was the boring parts of it? Also, chat, don't spoil the game for me. The penalties. Because I think I'm on a bit of a delay because I'm watching a, a uh, feed from a website that isn't a live feed from a streaming service. If that makes sense. I see Venezuela's up to take the penalty, and they get it. The goalie goes the complete wrong way. Um, oh, I guess Liv, should I not spoil you? <laughs> you? <laughs> Canada's up next. You're ahead of me? Perfect, okay. Whoever was in last place was eliminated the next episode, all the way to the end. Oh, God. Yeah, boo, Bree, we don't like that. That would make it boring. Jen Rad, stay with the eighth month with the prime. Appreciate you. I don't know. I don't know if I missed it or not, but thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Yeah, Jet Like definitely scratches that itch. Um and has been a good production. I'm actually very happy and also a little envious. Okay, Canada made it. Jesus. Um I'm very envious of uh, Taryn and Sasha for getting to talk to the, the jet lag uh, team because I've been watching it for a while, like from before, and it's pretty sick to see this collaboration happen. How is Liana? She's good, Chad. She's good. Busy with the sciencing, busy with work, with life. Um, I was like, I feel like I missed somebody earlier talking about is Liana and Big Brother. No, chat. Liana's not on Big Brother. She's not doing Survivor 48. Can you look at me? Look how, look how nice I look. Look how happy I look. Oh, goal post for Venezuela. Uh oh, Canada clutch up. Okay. Um. But yeah, she's doing good. And I would not look this happy if she was not here. I would be distraught. That's what you'd have to say if she was on Big Brother. No, I just tell you she was on. <laughs> just kittens. Of course I would have to do that. But no, she's here. She's here. You know what? Yeah. 
Hi, how are you? Hello. Hello, can you let the people know where you are right now? I don't know then. What is our Earth? I'm on Earth. All right, but be more specific. Like, where location-wise, like, where are you? <laughs> what does that mean? I'm trying to tell. Uh, you're. Are we? Are we in the same house right now? <laughs> what do I? Uh, yeah? You sound so sketchy! <laughs> uh, what am I supposed to- I'm so confused! I'm so confused! I'm not gonna feed you an answer! Context. I need context! So... No, context makes it look suspect. Yeah, no, it's already suspect. <laughs> How would it get worse with context? Where are you right now? I'm on Earth. That is weird. That weird. I'm in the matrix. I don't know. Maybe I'm dreaming. Maybe this is all a dream. Maybe I'm in a snow globe, like seen elsewhere. Spoilers. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I knew you were gonna go back and watch it. Oh no, not AI theme confirmed. Liana, where are you right now? <laughs> I don't understand the question. When you say, where are you? That could mean I'm at the grocery store. I'm in Georgia. I'm on the uh, island off the coast of blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't understand the context. I'm in, I, I'm in the Grand Canyon. What level of detail? If I called you and I say, where are you? Wouldn't your answer be, uh, I'm in bed or I'm in the living room or I'm in the kitchen? Who answers it with Earth? <laughs> I don't. I don't understand. Like you know how you can zoom in on levels. Like for example, if I were to say like, oh, what color is the sky? It's like blue, or like you go cerulean. Like you go a very specific type of blue. You know what I'm saying? Like, the level of detail. Like you're gonna be like, where are you? And it also depends on who I'm talking to. Chat ban dainty butterfly for that comment. <laughs> oh. Yeah, not the the next Love Island bombshell. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, but you are home right now, right? Okay, yes, I am at home. Okay. See, that is a much clearer question. Where is home? Do you want the city, the state, the street, the bullet? Am I also in this home? You are in the same home I am in. Although, you know what they say. Home is where the heart is. And you're my heart. So you're my home. So I'm not at home. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Does that help? Yeah, good luck with all the speculation. <laughs> well, now I'm even more confused. So you know how I told you people think you're going to be on one of these shows because you've been absent lately? Oh, that didn't help. <laughs> yeah, do you think? Where are you, Earth? <laughs> I'm a in the Matrix. <laughs> well, I, I didn't understand the, the con see. This is why the context would have made more sense. Uh, yeah, but if I tell you the context, it'll yes, seem like I'm feeding you the answer. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh oh. <laughs> no, but also you wouldn't be able to contact me if I was on one of the shows. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So the fact that you were able, and if this was a pre recorded conversation, like imagine. Say something that would prove it's not a pre recorded conversation. <laughs> oh, um, it is, I can tell you the time. It is 11.08. Oh, wait, that could have, we could have timed it. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> Who won the Euro games today? Uh, France. Uh, no games in live play. Only PKs. And then, I don't know, you didn't tell me who won the first game. Uh, Spain won an extra time. Are you, are you mobilizing over here? 
<laughs> she hung up on me. She's in here. Hello. Proof that she's here in this house. Oh my God, Canada shit in the bed. Yeah, see, that's Liana's hand here. She's in sleepwear, so I don't think she wants to be on camera, but she can say hello. Hello. Not pre-recorded. Not a fake hand. This just makes it look way more sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of mesmerizing, though. It's like a jellyfish. See, no one but Liana would say something like that. Okay, how about chat tells me what to do with my hand, and then I'll do it. And then that way... <laughs> Not that some random woman's hand. <laughs> Yes, yes, Liana's out playing survival of Big Brother, it's... and I brought another woman in here. Yes, and she's holding a phone with a recording of Liana's voice. What are you doing with your hands? Stop! I don't know, it looks cool. This is weird, though. <laughs> Sorry, we, we, you didn't have to come out of bed, but I do appreciate you coming in. No, I have my eye mask on. Yeah. Yeah. What were you watching? Nothing. Okay. I was reading Love Island subreddit. It was iconic. Oh, that is something that you can, I get, ah, Love Island. Just watched it, but now I'm realizing won't say spoilers. Yeah, <laughs> Just in exactly. case you watched it, but I watched it and I know what has happened. <laughs> Therefore, I can't be playing a game. Brad B, if Canada scores this goal, yeah. it's penalty to Venezuela. If they score this, yeah. they go to the next round. Okay. So we gotta watch oh, it together. He missed it. No, that's the replay from Venezuela's miss. Yeah, see, this is real. Or it's a really good AI. All right. He's crying. Yeah, that as well as sad. Uh, who's coming up for the shot? Who is this? Is this David? Who's David? Jonathan David. Oh, I thought you were just calling him by his first name. Like, They're all my friends. It's this my boy, David. David. <laughs> all right. I feel like he wears number eight for his... You're getting into the frame, Liana. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, there we go. That's he, it, right? That's it. I wasn't watching. Canada's in the semifinals right now. All right, Liana. Thank you for hanging out with us. You're welcome. Sleep well. You're welcome. She's doing the fingers up. She's kind of jealous. <laughs> All right, there we go. Canada made it by the skin of their teeth. They really gave Venezuela ample opportunities to come back with those penalties, but it worked out. It worked out. All right. There we go. How did Liana like the Rusical? Tune in to the podcast to find out. They're actually recording tomorrow. I'm not realizing I could have just said she's doing the drag race pod. <laughs> so... You'll get Liana's take soon enough. She's doing the podcast at some point. The Love Island pod. Yeah, she when she said Earth, I was like, I is she watching the stream? Quickly realized she's probably not watching the stream. That's classic Liana for you though. <laughs> oh god, Canada versus Argentina again is wild. wild but hey they made it to the semis which is awesome why is, isn't it supposed to be like you can't face your the team you faced again until the finals why are they facing off in the semis so do we have a goose goose a lobby on site we do we do dainty yes i will be coming back with some ggd yeah, Biologique, do not tell Scally and Kirsten that I that I told you this, but Liana will be on the Love Island pod at some point this season. The bracket is weird and groups A, B is one one side, C, D on the, on the other. So hold on, does that mean that um, uh, Brazil, if Brazil wins, they could face off with uh, Colombia again? Because that makes, if they both win, that makes no sense to me. Lips are still appreciated, Biologique. All right, chat. The form is still open. If you want to submit questions anonymously, feel free to do so. So I'm always watching your old Goose Goose stream on YouTube. So fun seeing you guys learn everything in the beginning. We really came from nothing to something. We really, now we know too much. We didn't know anything before. Seat of our pants. Love hearing you on the Love Island pod. Thank you, Bad Logique. I had a good time. I love talking about a show that I'm into. And right now, Love Island is that show. Like, I love getting to talk about it and, and 
I loved being on the pod for it. So I was very happy to be able to do so. So yeah, it was great. It was great, great, great. It's your OG Mullen who done it. Exactly. <laughs> you get that? Cool. Yeah. It goes Traders, Love Island. Good times. Good time with them. By the way, Traders New Zealand has been stellar so far. Two episodes in. Generally, I've been busy tomorrow to stop before I go to sleep. Generally, I do appreciate you stopping by, giving us your good vibes, good energy before you go to bed. Thank you for coming in. Hope you've had a good night. Hope you have a good sleep. Uh, Traders New Zealand, stellar. The cast is delivering. It's an all newbie cast. Chow, are you in here? Chow, you still here? Has it really? It has, Chow. It has. I fucks with it. You should watch. You should. Why are you saying it like that? You don't want to watch? By the way, Traders is in. Do we want to talk the plan for season one? Okay. Here's the thing. Mandy, we... I feel like we should change the plans here. And maybe just do a Traders New Zealand watch. Season two, sorry, not season one. I feel like the season one watch has died off. <laughs> I think season one watch is, is gone. So I think we move it to season two. What do you think? Because the Big Brother starts in two weeks. And if the podcast schedule stays the same as it was before... It'll be Sunday, Wednesday, Thursday recaps. It'll be Tuesday uh, roundtable. I feel like we can do Monday night streams for that, for Traders New Zealand. What do you think? What do you think, chat? You try to join a New Zealand scene to watch? Okay. We're about to get inundated with shows and pods. I, yeah, we, you know. How about an OG mole watch party on Monday nights? Hmm. No. Mandy, I'll send you the link for them. I got you. I got your back. <laughs> Red Wings, I appreciate you trying. Listen, let us get to the off season. The, here's the issue. Here's the issue. I think the best time for me to catch the mole wave will be right after this mole season ends. So if I can have some pocket of time and try and watch the season, that's the move. So that last off season... I know, psych. I say a lot of things and then they don't happen. But then sometimes I'll say things and they do happen. And those are nice. But, but when it comes to watching shows, I've done this with a lot. Uh, people were like, watch uh, The Boys. Haven't watched The Boys. Watch The Bear. Haven't watched The Bear. Um, there's a lot of shows that I've given this treatment to, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm about to go to Italy, fam. So I'm not dependable. Oh, yeah. Mandy, that's my bad. I got I got the episodes, Mandy. I could potentially host and make it happen. I could potentially make it happen. I'm caught up on the boys and that shit is crazy. Yeah, I've watched zero episodes of the boys, but I will at some point. Uh, since Big Brother has never gone more than se three seasons without returning players, ever since the original All-Stars, this has been the case counted out. Uh, let's see. Original All-Stars, seven. Uh, eight, no returnee, nine, no returnee, 10, no returnee, then 11, we had Jesse, then 12, no returnee, 13 returnee, so reset, 14 returnee, reset, then 15, all new, 16, all new, 17, all new, then 18, reset, then 19, reset, then 20, all new, 21, all new, 22, all stars, Reset 23, 24, 25. So this would be a this would be a streak. This would be a streak. Or a record rather. It's very likely BB20 will have returnees in some aspect. Who from 23, 24, 25 would you hope is brought back? I bet it'll be mainly from those seasons if they have returnees. Chat. That's a fun exercise. Let me sit up. Let me open the Brant Steel photos with like all their faces for these seasons. And see who we would like to see. And I'm not going to include winners because I never want to include winners. Because um, that's a, kind of an easy answer. 
change of plans. Uh, 23, 4, and 5 are not on brand steel. So, BB23 cast. Let me get a photo of them. All right. That's one photo. Actually, we'll use this photo. That's one photo. 24 cast. That's one photo. Or no, that's the photo. Okay. And then 25. Okay. I got plans. I mean, I, I got plans. I'm ready. <laughs> Not plans. All right. There we go. We ready, chat? Only one answer, Chow? Who was the one answer? All right. Okay, so this is Big Brother 23. It's Tiffany. I think Tiffany's a good shout. Honestly, I wouldn't mind seeing Hannah back. That's Chada, by the way. Um, I feel like I could see a DX back. I would love a Claire back. There's a lot from 23 that I would not mind to see. But DX, Claire, and Hannah are probably the top there with Tiffany. That's the four, actually. No, I, I'm done. Frenchie's fine. We've seen enough. You know what I mean? We can move. <laughs> we can move on, in my opinion. Derek F up there as well. Interesting. What really, Chow? I don't know. I think I've seen all I need to see from DF. How many per season do we pick? Just say the ones you like, I think. <laughs> Chow, I never know with you, you troll. How am I supposed to know? <laughs> you need to see him win this time. He's the GOAT. Listen, as someone who drafted him in the Big Brother draft but won by the grace of Xavier with Big D taking the second place spot. I'm fine with how that went. Then we got 24. Let me fix this. Actually, this is perfect because I, if I actually, let me fix this. Let me, uh, let me fix the ratio so you get to see the whole cast. Okay, there we go. Oh my God, this is without Joseph. This is the original one without Joseph. Um, it's Marvin is in this photo. Um, let's see. Um, okay, Michael, yeah, uh, and Joseph. I would like to see Joseph. <laughs> I would like to see the one person that's not in this photo. <laughs> yeah. Chow messaged me earlier and was like, listen, I'm going to ask you this softball question about Big Brother returnees, but don't tell anyone that I secretly want, uh, uh, uh what's his face? Uh, Terrence back. And I said, okay, Chow, your secret's safe with me. That bottom row is cursed, psych. That's what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't... See, the thing is, I was like, Taylor will be an easy answer here, so I wouldn't put Taylor for me. Um, Joseph is on a new show. Zach Wormberg. What is this, Red Wings? Can I click this? Is this safe? Oh, you know what? I totally, goddamn, I saw this tweet early, uh, earlier this week. Aren't Terrence and Alyssa married? I don't think so. What? <laughs> All right. 25. Um, Mimi. I could see Mimi. I'd be cool with that. America would be fun again. I think Corey would be fun again. Uh, Heisem. Heisem and Izzy are my one and two easily. Heisem and Izzy one and two. Corey in America, Mimi, Felicia. That's a good six. I would not, I'm not, I'm not even going to say Suri. Suri ain't doing it again. 
Um, so what's the point of building up false hope? But yeah. You could easily do a BB can 58v8 thing. Oh my god, imagine they bring eight returnees. I don't think we're ready for eight returnees, chat. Corner America can't do another season together. Bree, why not? Because because they won't put them on the same season or because they wouldn't survive the game playing a game together again because they've done they brought couples back before yeah i feel like four returnees is probably what they're gonna do they do love themselves four returnees bb13 was go to television <laughs> Taylor is a big Lawan fan. This is true. Sorry, did I say Lawan? I meant um, Adam Pock. <laughs> Maybe the Ranger games with returning blocks would reset. That's not a bad idea. All right, Chrissy, what did you send me? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mute and see what I've been sent here. Yeah, no, I'm good. Thank you, Chrissy. Thank you, thank you. Um, Let's see. Bruh, what bruh? You think I'm going to listen to copyright music? No. Um, You chose who goats. Who goats? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? <laughs> All right, next question is, are you going to be on any of the Survivor wishlist pods with Mike Bloom? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Give us the top four if you think it's four. Of those three seasons, hold on. Of those three seasons, my personal top four, let me mute the music for this. Of those three seasons, my top four would be, um, I would be intrigued to see a Tiffany 2.0, a Claire 2.0, Tiffany and Claire could be the oh god four is fucking tough chat i mean i'd rather zero so that we get a proper like returnee season in the future although that was a lot to ask for last time and then it didn't deliver um i would if i'm picking four i'll forego season 25 uh four i would go from 23 and 25 i would pick claire and tiffany and i would pick um izzy and heisem yeah no michael I'm okay without Michael, Psych. I'm not going to lie to you. Nothing but love to Michael and, and his comp prowess and, and all the things he's done. But I'm okay. I'm fine. Michael would be on the list, but he'd be lower on my list. Like if I was picking 10, he might be 10th. Maybe. I don't know. How far in did everyone schedule their wishlist episodes? Softy, I believe 99.9% .9 of the wishlist episodes were scheduled when it was beginning. That makes sense. But yeah, his stick went out the window and Jack beat his record. That's not that's pretty true. Uh, then Michael's game was a little weird towards the end there, to be honest. It was 24. Listen, I'm okay to skip it. <laughs> I can't take another Izzy. Oh, Jenny, not an Izzy fan? Question mark. Izzy was delivering for me on, on many a front. And I have I will say, having met Izzy delightful in person as well maybe where was blacklisted on like 9 and 14 i feel like i would want to say sure yes but i feel like maybe not who knows who knows all right next question uh casting must have slid into hawk to us girls dm right no here's the common misconception with casting casting will slide into that dm you're not wrong question asker but they will not slide into that dm until 2027 big brother loves doing trends three years late two years late so 2026 2027 <laughs> psych that is a great motto if i you ain't hawk to her then i don't want to see you uh, on big brother <laughs> gotta speak to izzy in chicago great person 100 percent agree lovely izzy's lovely I wasn't a feedster until BB23. If we missed the first week of feeds in BB26, 
Is it difficult to gain an understanding of what's going on week two when they pop on? So the experience, and then there's going to be some people in the chat that are going to be able to speak on this maybe more accurately or better um, than I would. But there have been seasons where we don't know what happened in week one and it ended up mattering quite a bit. Um, and it's obviously going to matter in, uh, in the beginning, but then typically the game can move and shake and, and you will find other stuff. The hard part is going to be if the feeds do come on a week late and there's like already a super alliance like formed. Um, Big Brother the Cannon 9 is an example, says Psych. They don't pop on week two. It's usually day five in a 10-day week. Yeah, it'll be a longer day, a longer week. Red Wings is uh, not incorrect here. But let me tell you, I'll be there that fr first Friday with all the detective work. So, night, like getting feeds from night one is fun to see everything form. But you'll miss some of that. But the live feed of this can catch you up for sure. BB Camp 5 is the one week they still talk about to this day. Taylor's not wrong. I like to watch relationships grow. Oh, it's lovely. The organic buildup of Big Brother feeds is, is amazing. Hey, Valencia, welcome in. Think about the second. I appreciate you. How are you doing? Are you feeling all good now? Welcome, welcome. The 7 6 Mark Dimitri's vote? Yeah. I. Chat, when is the last time. You rewatched a Big Brother season. Because I've not had the itch to rewatch a Big Brother season in years now. I feel like I used to watch all of it, like do a rewatch and have a good time. The last time I rewatched the season was. Twenty sixteen, maybe? I think it's been a minute, which I think also uh, does it like is <laughs> no, it attributes to my lack of remembering things. Chrissy, I'm going to give you a warning. If you send a link one more time, you go bye bye. OK, I'm not going to ban you yet, but that's your warning because I already told you I don't want to listen to your I don't want to listen to your link, bro. What, bro? Chrissy. Chrissy, you've joined me about an hour ago. You've not said anything but listen to this. What makes you think you have earned the right? Even if it's not copyright, what makes you think you've earned the right to just come in, not say anything, and drop a link on me? Have you gotten to know me? Do you know who I am, what my life is like? If you can tell me something about... Oh, uh, no, exactly. So... You don't get to come here and, and swing a link in my face and be like, press it. No, I don't know you like that. I don't know you like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Iranian. Goodbye, you toss pot. Get wrecked. <laughs> oh, oh, would you listen to my link, please? It's not even my song. It's a song that's got a hundred million views on it. But for some reason, I want you to click it. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, you didn't click it? Let me call you a nationality. <laughs> the energy is weird. That was the quickest deletion ever. Mandy's on top of it. Bye. All right. Where were we, chat? Mm, da -da 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 -da, scrolling back up. I don't realize the full scene. I just watched the compilation. Compilation could be a shout. Also, someone said... I miss Quirky Dude. Shout out Quirky Dude who literally helped me catch up on All Big Brother. I have watched some compilations, like clip compilation, not a seasons compilation. But I watched some clip compilations. Six and seven were the only ones I've rewatched, and that was in like December, but the first time I saw this was like 2016. Oh, there we go, Red Wings. Um, I've watched feed highlights on YouTube before All Stars. I so for um Big Brother 22, I was covering the Kaser season or the Kaser deep dive. And then I ended up being offered and did the Keisha deep dive. And for those, I watched like a three hour compilation for both their seasons, which was delightful. And it gave me the refresher I needed. But that's like the furthest I've gone in a minute. I watched BB 17 like a year ago, I think. 
That was one Liana and I talked about rewatching together once, but then we never got to it. This was before I moved here. Let's be the number one fan of the mole. Uh, I believe I'm talking to the number one fan of the mole in yourself, RGB fan. The best ones are about a particular player. Why can't I type? Oh, the compilation ones, you mean? Did you notice the juked moment in Love Island? It was so good. It was so tasty. I loved it. I will say this without giving any spoilers, of course. No one gets their ego shattered more than the men who ask for a kiss on Love Island, get rejected, and then get all pissy about it. It's like, oh, oh wow, you're, so you're not going to give me a kiss? Yeah, that's why I turned the cheek to you, dummy. What does this mean? The universal sign of I'm not kissing you. Do you have to say it out loud? You're going to look stupid. Because what do you think you're going to say? Uh, I'm not going to give a kiss. Oh my God, you want a kiss? Sorry, that totally didn't come across. You leaning into my face and saying stuff like, yeah, uh, what would you rate my kiss? But that wasn't a challenge. Let's do it here. Stop it. You look stupid. Um, there's a BB can two and three hours video. I've watched that at some point. It's a good time, Jordan. Videos like that are fun. During the pandemic, I watched every single Survivor, but I've never had the desire to rewatch Big Brother. Kalita, it's because the it's be and I think it's because a lot of us know the reality that comes with watching an, a season of Big Brother now, like an episodic series, because we know that it's not going to give you the accurate picture. That and also the episodes low key don't hit. Especially these newer seasons, I feel like they don't hit like that. Because it's a lot of filler. The comps don't hit like that more often than not. The diary rooms are not hitting like that. So it makes it a little bit harder. Um, I think I would watch it on like a one and a half, two speed. But maybe. On the rest of the Rachel and Andy fight. Rachel and Andy? I mean, Reagan. I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there you already corrected it. My bad. I caught up. I caught up. Orange people on the first night, then the and then when they get voted out. Okay, Valencia. So you watch the premiere episode and then you watch the eviction episodes. Is what you're telling me? And then Twitter and live feeds have spoiled you. <laughs> so you best know I'm about to link some DJ Showtime and demand you listen now. Ciao. We don't need to know what you listen to in the bedroom. Okay, that's that's for you. That's for you. That's your. That's for you. And that's like you know your moment. We don't want to. You don't have to share that with us. We don't want you to get robbed of your your individual, you know, private time stuff. You don't need to, you know, you do you, you do you. Um, it's like 40 mediocre episodes. <laughs> the one episode I've rewatched recently is the Gummy Bear episode. Oh, that will be a fun one, Jordan. I'm rewatching old season that at RTV recaps to get extra context. There we go, Flynn. That's a good way to go about it. It's crazy how stuck in their ways they are. <laughs> Sometimes I skip the episodes of the feeds are good. I'm glad BBUS doesn't block feeds during episodes. That is very true, you know. Mike is great. Thank you for the follow. Here's why I don't rewatch. Taylor. Classic with the with the tweet here. Uh, Big Brother Leia, zero rewatch value. Like, who the fuck watches this Big Brother after theirs? That's why live feeds are important. Taylor. This is unfortunate. Your tweet has a typo in it because I'm assuming you're saying that's why live feeds are important, but you wrote that's why live feeds are impotent. <laughs> <laughs> I will always maintain Big Brother is a better game and Survivor is a better show. And that's because Survivor has six months to edit Big Brother. They have to do it on the fly. It's true. But then Love Island, they edit really nice. So I'm like, Big Brother, you could edit nicer. You know you could. You know you could. <laughs> All right. Next question. Uh, who from this season of Love Island would you want to see on the traders? It's Kendall and it's not close. The gaslighting messy fuck that Kendall is. Easy. Kendall, Liv, Leah. That's the three. Lock it. Although Serena's making a case now. So that could be the four. Maybe Janae. But Kendall, Liv, and Leah as of right now. These are the three. 100%. I binge watch every season for the first time a few years ago, and I've been obsessed ever since. I didn't start watching feeds until recently, so I've been able to enjoy the edited show for what it is. 
and then I have the urge to rewatch them yearly, and usually do. I try to take the edited show and the actual fees as two separate things, so I can still enjoy it. That's a good way to think about it, generally, for sure. That's a good way to think about it. <laughs> Kendall is Cali's bestie. King Kendall. Kendall's messy. Like, you need mess. He's a mess. He's a gossip, and now he's caught, which is great. Do you think the competitions will be more reindeer game-ish or physical? Sorry, I would love to think that they'll be more reindeer game-ish. The reality is they have those props now. They can use them. But do I think they'll use them? I don't know. How many Love Island episodes are out for the season? Jenny, 22 lovely episodes for you. Uh, but that is... It's technically 22 minus 3 or minus 4 because 3 of them are after Sun, which is kind of their talk show they do on Saturdays that you could skip if you wanted to. Um, so, yeah. Would you be open to them doing live feeds but then not releasing the edit show until months later? So you have time to make it better? Oh, absolutely not. I think once I've seen the li the, the the feeds... If I don't like how it goes or how it ends or the, you know, I'm not going to watch it. I don't think I'm not going to watch it after I say that. And I probably would because everyone else is watching it. But, you know, pieces and hit tweets. Those typos are my thing. <laughs> That's fair, Taylor. Taylor, are you going to do Diogo Jota even though uh, he's not going to upgrade anymore? If you're going to binge, you can probably skip After Sun. I tell you this, I've not watched a single After Sun. I look at clips that, uh, that people pick out from it that's worth looking at. Well, I like Kendall. It's really great to see him have to face all the women presenting his friends. Melissa, I agree with you. I didn't even factor in that Kendall could get in trouble for his shit, but I'm happy he's going to get in trouble for his shit. So... Ooh, I did see your tweet about them bringing back pressure cooker every season. I feel like I'm somewhere in the middle with that. Where if it's like every other season, I would like it. But not in a very sequential, like, okay, every odd season, they have it now. No, fuck that. Um, like, bring it back this season, right? Bring it back this season. But then next season, don't. I think they need to mix these things. They need to randomize them. I want the Big Brother players to not be able to predict what every goddamn comp is going to be. And the problem is, until they don't do that, then it don't matter. Bring it back every week. Every season. Sorry. You know what I mean? So. All right. Next question. Uh, have you ever posed for thumbnails for RHAP or your YouTube channel? Can we see some of the poses you would make? I have never posed for thumbnails. Ever. Um, the most I've quote unquote posed is the um, Hitman. No, it's for some of the emotes. Uh, most of these, I think this one is a pose. Well, you know what? I can make these big now, right? I got the opportunity to enlarge them. So hold on. Let me, let me gigantify one of my own emotes. This one, this one is posed. I fully posed for this one. For the rest of my emotes with my face on them, I didn't post for a single one. That's all uh, moments from stream that someone has taken a screenshot of, mods have made an uh, emote out of. So the rest of them were not posed. That's the only one. Every other single one, though, uh, that one was posed. Every other single one just happened. It's not the hype of it. It's the fact that it's the most balanced comp they can do. They've done it twice in 40 hours. Just stand there. Same with bus kill. Unreal comp. The premise is just so good. You're right. If they can fix the equity of all the comps, then I'm fine with them with the swippy swappies. But if they can't do that, then I can see why you're saying do this because it is. it can be the game-changing one, right? A shift can happen in the house from that. Yes, you have not done any poses like Terran has for the live feed updates. Um, in the future, if I do end up YouTubing it more seriously and I need thumbnail content, I think you can expect some poses because I was using most of the photos I already had for the Hitman thumbnails and I used up all of them, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, fully caught up with the questions once again in the form. So we back here in with the chat.
Okay. Say, so, Taylor, are you going to do Diogo Jota or no? You're not doing Jota? If I want him, I'll do an Evo. There you go. Got his 88. Okay. I was going to say, enough. Enough Liverpool goddamn fucking SBCs, man. Enough. You've literally got a goaded Liverpool team, and it took what? It took like... <laughs> It took like all of team of the season for you to get an entire go to team. Um, okay, so we're going to do New Zealand season two watch parties in the discord. Now that's the plan. The thing is, the question I have for chat is, do we just jump to episode three or do we have to do episode one and two at some point? Got JR going to break this week before footies to re-energize. That's fair. I did pick Tony Cruz, Taylor. I did pick Tony Cruz. But also, I wasn't going to change my... I love my midfield of Rice and Bellingham, so I was never going to use them. Boo hiss. Because my, my thought was, I we're not going to get a Cruz card again for a couple of years, probably, but I think we're going to get a Gerard one again next year, you know? How has your life been different than you imagined? Um... Actually, I was thinking about this today. Like, it hit me. I live in the States. I'm a full-time content creator. I work from home 100%. I have an incredible wife. An incredible life. And none of this would have happened if I didn't meet Liana. You know? Like, obviously, getting the career, getting to the Twitch side, the podcast side and stuff... That would have happened if I applied for So You Think. Let's say if, assuming it goes the exact same way. Um, but no, that's fair, Taylor. Like, if I could have Rio Ferdinand, I would pick him nine times, like, every time. So I understand you completely there. Um, like, I would not have been here without her. But if I had, like, applied for So You Think and gotten through that, I think I could have still landed here as a content creator, maybe. But I would have still been in Canada, most likely. Um, and I still think I would have been working at the bagel shop, most likely, probably. Like, I would be doing this part-time, maybe? Like, some podcasts. I don't know. I don't know. But it is different than how I imagined it, because there would there was a while there where I was very directionless. Like, I, I basically lived my life... Well... It's hard to talk about chat because my life from when I met Liana and, and for actually from when we started dating, it was basically I worked to fund seeing Liana once a month, right? Like I didn't care about my shifts. Take care, Taylor. Bedtime of our England tomorrow. So happy for Canada night chat. We had 12 days ago. 12 days ago, man. Let's hope England can bring it on and get to the goddamn semifinals. Because my heart cannot handle a loss to Switzerland. So, fingers crossed. We'll see. Um, either way, Southgate out. Even if we win the whole thing, Southgate out. So, yeah, we'll talk about it tomorrow. All right. Take care, Taylor. Um, I literally lived to wake up, go to work, do my shift, finish my shift, come home, talk to Liana, go to bed, wake up, repeat. All of that to see Liana twice, a, twice a, uh, two days in a month. Sometimes we'd get lucky and we do two trips in a month, but it was one trip a month for two days. And those two days were worth every bit of, of anything I dealt with for that one month. Every bit. They were worth everything. But it's hard because that was happening because I knew that we were planning to be like move in together. We were planning to get together. So if we were to break up, let's say, I don't think, I think something would have had to change because I was kind of in this limbo where everything felt temporary, right? I wasn't buying a new furniture despite wanting to upgrade because I was like, I'm going to move at some point. I wasn't investing in anything new because I'm going to move at some point. And if the move didn't happen, if we had not gotten there, something would have had to change in my life. And I don't know what, I don't know how it would look like, which is why I'm saying it's hard to talk about because... I didn't imagine anything else because I couldn't. I couldn't for a second imagine anything else. 
because I was so invested in in the relationship. Um, yeah, it would have been weird. Matt gets it, my guy Matt. How you doing, Matt? Spain England final. Please and thank you. The Dutch are winning it. Y'all gotta beat Turkey tomorrow, who have been like the surprise underdogs. But I think the underdog. I think the Dutch probably have tomorrow. And then if we face them, England faces the Dutch. That'll be interesting. But Spain England final, I'd be here for it. Live. Just don't score an own goal <laughs> against France, and you should be fine. Um, but then if I go back and talk about how my life is different than what I imagined when I was a kid, um, a lot. I thought as a kid I would end up in marketing. I really wanted to be in marketing. I had a big thing for advertising is where I wanted to be. That didn't happen. Um, mostly because I didn't study to get the grades I needed to go there. So that's on me a little bit, but that didn't happen. Um, I also, when I was growing up, didn't think about where I was going to go for university. I just knew I wanted to get out of Dubai. Which I did. So that happened. Canada was not like I imagined. In that Canada itself was beautiful. The people were super friendly. I didn't imagine, did not think they were going to be as friendly as they were. But it wasn't as I imagined because when I imagined it, it was, everything was perfect. You know what I mean? Like when you imagine things, when you imagine a scenario, it's the best version of that. Like in my imagination, I was killing it. I'm getting straight A's. I'm living in a really nice apartment. Da, 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 blah, 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 blah. But the reality was I wasn't ready when I moved uh, abroad. I was not mentally ready uh, to take on life as an individual. Uh, life hit me like a ton of bricks. I was bad with managing money. I was broke a lot, which as an international student is very scary. Um, <laughs> did not like that. Um, so definitely it was a lot harder than I imagined. It did make me who I am today, which I'm thankful for, but it was hard. But if we could tell the kid version of you that you'd be a full-time content creator, little please, man would be blown. That would sound much more fun than marketing. Oh, 100%. But I'd be like, hey, Pui, you're going to do all this cool shit? I'm like, no, I'm not. Yes, I am. So very grateful that I get to do it. Got a new question in the form. Uh, random question. I see you use the Shure SM7B, the lovely mic, for podcasting and streaming. Has it been worth it for you? Is it tough to set up? And what else do you need to buy for it? Great question. So I did upgrade the microphone. You've seen a lot of podcasters. They use the Audio Technica podcast. Sorry, podcast microphone, which is good. It's a good uh, microphone. But because I was going to be doing streaming and stuff, I wanted to invest in a little bit of a higher upgrade. So I used the Shure SM7B. Uh, Rob uses the Shure SM7B. Taryn also used to use it. Taryn uses a different microphone now. A lot of podcasts and, and a lot of streamers do use this microphone for good reason. It comes with some good extensive, um, uh, what's it called? No, that's the software. I'm gonna talk about that in a second. It is an XLR mic, which means you need to get, you need to have your computer be able to allow you to have an XLR input. I have a mixer, which the XLR mic, uh, sorry, nozzle goes into. And with that, I've been able to do a lot of cool things with the sound, make sure that you don't hear the background noise of my AC or anything like that. I feel like the I like the level of audio it grabs. I feel like the audio sounds crisp all the time. So I love it. Um, it depends, I guess, My uh, to answer your question of has it been worth it for you, it 100% hinges on and depends on how often you're going to use it. I use it for podcasts, for streams. I use it all the time. But if you're using it for like one podcast a week or like, let's say three hours a week and on a non, like in a professional manner where you're recording it, then no, you can get by with like the, the audio technica podcast as microphone, no problem. But I have enjoyed, it is a little bit tough to set up because like I said, you need the XLR, the mixer, you need to input the mixer there. You need to make sure all your audio now goes through the mixer, but, and then the mixer can be costly depending. You can get a cheaper one. Um, this was like, when I was fully like, I want a full upgrade, I went with the big Go XLR. Um, so you can make that cheaper for sure, but the microphone itself is already a higher price point. So you gotta ask yourself if you're gonna need that level. If you're just starting out or you're beginning, I would say a lot of the other microphones can and will do the job perfectly. And and you might you won't hear a difference necessarily. But yeah, there we go. Uh, one more question in the form has popped up. And that is. 
Any plans to play chain together? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I want to play chain together. I have not made the efforts to get that sorted, but I would like to. Um, I have to make a couple of decisions, namely, who am I playing with and when am I playing it? I would like to play it before Big Brother season begins. And now that I don't have five podcasts and guests coming, the schedule does open up quite a bit. So, Scally, it's a, it's a, Bryson, it's a tough one. I would love to. I think Scally would be a fun person to play the game with. I feel like I've never really collabed with Scally on the gaming front, so that could be a shout. You're playing with Dwight. See, there's Dwight. There's Scally. Um, Russ and I have spoken about it. Could be Russ. Um, there's a lot of different ways we could go with this. <laughs> so we got to make the decision. Although, I could play it with, like, four people, right? Three people? Four people? How many can play? Anyone but France Red Wings? Damn. You don't want France to win this season? Or this cup, I guess? Potentially. Is that what you're telling me? Four players? Interesting. I feel like that'll make it very complicated. I feel like I want to play with one person. Make it a two-person game. But we'll see. We'll see where it goes. But yes, I would like to play Chain together. For sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. They should have to score a goal from open play to be eligible to win it. This is a very fair ask. In my opinion. Very fair. Well, up to four. Yeah, I know you can play it with two or three or four. I thought so, at least. So it's good to know. It's good to know. So you could to do to the difficulty probably increases with more. Yeah, I think so too, Mandy. Polly! Thank you for the 30th map, Polly. Appreciate you. Welcome back into Lesson 2 crew. Welcome, welcome, welcome. But yeah. We're definitely going to play Chain together at some point. Ideally before Big Brother season. That's what I want to do. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah. <laughs> that's what I want to do. Alright chat. I'm going to pause the music real quick. I would like to officially announce... That we have just reached um, with this upcoming question that I'm going to answer. We are about to answer seven. No. Three plus nine thousand. This is the nine thousandth question. Or is it seven thousandth question? Ah, she sorry. It's the seven thousandth question answered on pad. Seven thousandth question answered on the pad. Shout out to y'all for submitting all these questions. Incredible stuff. 7,000 questions have come in on the pad. We've been doing this for about closing in on four years, the pad. Amazing stuff. And thank you so much. Just a couple of us. Exactly. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yes. Um, on stream, please. Yeah, no, no, no. If I play it because of it, it'll be on stream. The, when I don't play a game yet. When I don't play a game yet. I, it's because I wanted to try and do it on stream. Several times I myself, Steph, don't you dare go anywhere. You stay with us. <laughs> but I see how you feel. Okay. To Puya. To be clear, I wasn't cheersing myself and then drinking. The question starts with to Puya and all the wise members of the chat. But I started it and then I said, I want to take a sip of my coffee. And then I realized what I've done. <laughs> so... That wasn't a cheers, okay? Okay. What percentage were thirsty questions? That's, I don't know. I don't know because realistically, RGB fan, some of them were very inappropriate questions that we did answer. We've also had questions that I've not answered, whether it's too personal or it's about a podcaster that's not my place or it's about a question that I'm not really going to address on stream. There's been some of those that, that have been skippity skip before. I don't know what the percentages there are. How dare you, RGA fan? <laughs> to put, thank you, Johnny Macklin, brother of Burt Macklin. Self cheers is quality self care. It's perfect. All right. So this question asker said, Tapuya, and all the wise members of the chat, how do you get past your inner people pleaser? I feel like I understand logically that it's just not possible or even good to be everyone's cup of tea, but I struggle to get past that on an emotional level. Great question, question asker. Um, a question I can relate to. 
this is something I also struggle with, believe it or not. Um, the realistic answer, the realistic feeling I can tell you here, based on my own experience, is that I, um, I really, really love to be loved, and I hate to be hated. I love to be loved, I hate to be hated, and in, in the midst of all that, I have definitely done my fair share of more for others than for myself, and I've struggled as a result. I've hurt myself as a result. It wasn't until I realized that I need to love to love myself first. It's going to sound cheesy, but bear with me. But if I love to love myself first, I'm going to feel my best. That and honestly, podcasting and streaming has really opened my eyes and made it a little bit more understanding for me, even though I still struggle with it. Um, it has really opened my eyes that I'm not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Like you said, I have haters. I have people who don't fuck with me. I have people who don't like my content. I have people who don't like my commentary and that's fine. That's fine. And the thing that makes it fine for me is that I think I have a good ratio. It's like my ratio is very much like way more good, little sliver of bad. That's fine. And by good, I mean, they like me versus they don't like me. That's fine. As long as I can be the best person I am, best version of myself for me, best version of myself for my lovely wife, for my friends, for my family, for my um, community, that ratio will stay intact. That ratio will stay intact. And it all starts from me, focusing on me, backing me. It does not start with, with pleasing others. If you please... If this sounds out of context and I see one person clip it, I will know who you are and I will ban you on this account. So don't do it. Don't you dare do it. If you please yourself, you can please others. And it's important to people please yourself before you people please others. Does that make sense? That makes sense. But yeah, it's all about working on you first. It's all about working on you first and then others. And I like to remind myself this um, because I definitely function like that. You know, I want to do right. I want to, you know, if I'm friends with you, I'm family with you, I'm, I'm dating you. I want to make sure that you feel like you're number one to me. I want to make sure you feel like a number one person. But also a lot of people will be working on making sure they are the number one person. So that's two people working on a number one. Who's working on number one for me? I, I want to be on top as well. I got to do that as well. So that is the key. That is the key. You can still be, make no mistake. You can still be great. You can still do the most for, for those that matter. But you got to also remember to do that for yourself as well. Only then will you really be able to get past this. It's a harsh reality to live because you can do all the people pleasing. And, and now we'll speak specifically about like people pleasing people that don't, you don't really know or don't really fuck with you. You can do all the people pleasing. They will still not fuck with you. Some of them, some of them might, but still there's gonna be some people that don't. And that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You know, you know. So, yeah. Hope that helped. I feel like I lost it at some point, but I think overall it made sense. So we'll see. Um, Puya's is Homelander. Oh my God. I need to watch the boys. Cause I don't know what that means. Over six years old. Let me know when you find out because I haven't figured it out. And you said, it's a good question because love. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, Good answer. Good answer. Thank you. AJ. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Almost the airplane oxygen mask. Honestly, Johnny Macklin, not a bad one. You got to put the mask on you before you can help others. Otherwise, like, you can't do it. So we're going to say no is what I've learned over the past few years and be okay with it. Honestly, stand firm on stuff like that. It's going to be hard at first, but it's better for you. Was that on a fortune cookie? Absolutely not. Sorry, that was all here. That was on a Puya brain. I try to see myself through my friend's eyes. You got to have good type people in your corner. It's true. It's not good. You don't want to be Homelander. Okay, well, 
Respawning, take it back. <laughs> your people pleasing tendencies are a marker of your humanity. Learn to accept it without judging it. And then behave however is healthiest for you. Cap dash, well said. Next question. Who was your school crush? Do you mean like, who did I have a crush on when I was in school? As in like celebrity? I'm assuming that's what you mean. Because if I gave you a name, you're not going to know who that is. It was Lindsay Lohan. Straight up. With a side of, uh, with a little bit Hillary Duff as well. But Lindsay Lohan was number one. Out of all 7,000 questions, which one live in your head rent free? I don't think any of them live in my head, my head, my head rent free. <laughs> Valid. Thank you. From Lilo to. What? Oh, Liana Boris. That took me way too long, Liv, and I'm upset about it. <laughs> what was your go-to board game? Monopoly. I, I was I grew up in a Monopoly household chat. Oh my god, how to French kiss was a hilarious moment though, Mandy. I'm not gonna lie to you. I will be sad for Freaky Friday too. Make no mistake, Matt. Easily. 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 I listened to every I owned the Lindsay Lohan album. Like I was in deep chat. In the deepest. What was the first question in the form? So Red Wings, I'm actually upset about this, but I was deleting them every two every time we hit 2000 I would delete them because it would be easier for me to keep up with the form after the fact so right now there's only 3000 questions in the form I can go back and tell you what the 5000th question was oh no sorry the 4000 and first if that helps I can do that so the 4000 and first question was submitted December 3rd no wait is this hold on hold on this form takes questions in yeah the month is first okay cool so yeah it was december 3rd 2021 december 3rd 2021 so about 2022 about two years ago have you ever been a best man in a wedding best friend is getting married next week what type of speech should i go for that's funny but also conscious he's from a traditional asian family that was question number one question number 69 was what are you looking forward to most in the new year also from december 17th so still in december at that time question 5000 was how do you get over being ghosted this was in november of 2022 so we got about a thousand questions in 2022 i was talking to this guy for a few months and i thought things were going well but then he completely iced me out with no warning and i've been trying to get over it since any suggestions uh question 6000 which was 18th of March, 2023. What is your opinion of Jags BB gameplay? Thank you so much. This was during BB season last year. Um, so since, to put it in perspective, in the last year, we've answered over a thousand questions on the pad. And we've missed quite a few pads this year, I feel like. I did erase history, which is unfortunate for sure. I feel like I don't want to do that anymore. So I don't think we're going to delete them anymore. So we just have to do a uh, 4,000 plus on whatever the number is. All right. So uh, next question is that episode of Love Island. It was incredible. Love Island was incredible tonight. When Liana and I saw that the episode was available at 830 and it was an hour and a half. I was like, we have to watch it now because I got to go do the pad after. So, yeah. All right. Someone sent a link anonymously so you know i can't know who it is i have sorry i'm scratching my eye i have youtube muted so i can't hear it if they're gonna rickroll me and they have uh not they put out it's a random song with a lot of views this must be the same person again i don't know um well we're not gonna listen to it so jokes on you how about that uh, <laughs> um who's the biggest star in milf manor 2 um it's Anthony, the the dad, I think, right now. Of the MILFs, I think Kelly really wants it to be Kelly. It might be Kelly. Barbie's still in the mix. Um, also, I've not watched this last episode, so no spoilers. Rebecca is the new one that's trying to get on the map, um, or in the spotlight, rather. But no, I say Anthony is the biggest star easily this year. 
Felix Spoilerhands needs to discuss the amazing LI episode. We can talk about it a little later on. Maybe I'll whip out the spoiler hand for that. We can do that. Yeah, I don't know, Mandy. I don't know. Uh, Love Island was great, Polly. Enjoy it. A good 90 minutes. It didn't show up for me till 920, so I haven't seen it yet. Damn. Yeah, we were watching episode 21. And we finished it at 8.30. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go back to my room. I'll come back at 9 when the episode's out. And then when I went to my computer and checked, episode 22 was already available. I was like, okay, well, we're watching it now. The biggest star is a DILF. Wow. You think so, Mandy? You think so? <laughs> Scar Kill it was. Milf Matter, what have I missed? Have you, Jenny, uh, did, can you elaborate on your question? If we do have questions, sounds good, Melissa. Sounds good. I've never watched Love Island. Is it something I can start from the current season or I'll be missing context? You can watch from this season, Cap Dash. Milf, uh, Milf Matter, Love Island is not, it's not sequential in that the stories don't really go in. Um, they don't quite reference people from other seasons. You'll be completely fine. Yeah. Gotcha, Mandy. Yes, you're not wrong. That is a show. Jenny, the premise of Milf Manor is there are MILFs in a house and they are being courted by men. Uh, season one, the twist was that the men were the sons of the MILFs courting other MILFs. In season two, the twist is that they are just young boys, but the young boys' dads are also courting the MILFs. So the MILFs, the boys and their dads are competing for the affection and attention of the MILFs. <laughs> it's worth telling you this chat that realistically, I'm not at complete. When I said 7,000, it's wrong. It's probably more because I do delete questions that are not questions or are just um, trolling. Like this person who keeps linking this YouTube video. Uh, this is the last time I'm bringing up this video. If it gets sent again, I'm just not going to acknowledge it and we're going to move on. But I'm deleting the message. Happy 4th. Well, thank you, Kroos. Happy 6th to you, my friend. Where you been? How you been doing? <laughs> Do they announce that X Islander is going to enter next? What? No? What? Uh, will you be watching... Cla oh, I'm assuming cl Claim to Fame, not Liam to Fame? Why do I need to watch all of Tasha's moments on the GOAT if I don't finish it? Because I need to watch the OG Mole. Is he on the Mole? Or... Are you saying to watch it because it'll be good fun? That's the question. Uh, what point in a relationship do you bring do you bring up living together, getting engaged? I think it's a case by case situation. I think it depends on the relationship, depends on the person. There's people that don't want to do that, period. And and so they'll be apprehensive on talking about it. But then there'll be people that um there'll be people that uh are more keen to talk about it. I don't I didn't plan on talking about engagements or living together with Liana at any point. If it if when it happened, it just kind of happened. So I can't, and I don't remember when, so I can't be like, it was within the first six months of us talking. So I don't know. Um, of course I recognize Aaron from on Love Island. From Traders, I mean. Nothing happened. If anything happens on the Traders universe, I'm on top of it, thankfully, so far. Oh, I did not know that Biologique. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well... I don't know much about... No, I mean, I've watched most of those seasons, to be fair. I think I'm only missing two seasons of Love Island US. One is last season, one is season one. So I'll know most of them. Or I'll need a refresher anyway. So yeah. My least favorite part of the Big Brother season is the last two weeks of Big Brother. The lead up to the finale, I don't care for. When it's like five people left, I just can't find myself to have interest. You assume Carrington is one of them? Of course that man will be. Of course. Oh, I've already seen the trailer for the Sims pack. So unfortunately, this will be this will be uh lost here. But I do appreciate you sending it. Do you watch Stranger Things? I've never watched Stranger Things, you know. Stranger Things famously on my blind spots of shows. Never watched it. Never peeped Stranger Things, chat. 
as long as not Scott from Love Island UK 10 All Stars in games. Yeah, uh, first place I saw uh, Scott was on Love Island UK 10. I didn't think he was needed. So. You're telling me I can send you a link of an oof bracket and he has to press it? No, I don't. I can just skippity skip. But yeah. <laughs> you bought so many Sims Pack during sale. There we go. I'm happy you did. All right, chat. I'm going to call last call now on the form. Give you the last opportunity to send a question anonymously. After we answer those, we will flippity flip over to some marbles for tonight. And we'll do a cheeky fiver tonight. I feel like we didn't do many last week. So I'd like to do that. And I think tonight is going to end up being, yeah, let's see, about two hours live. It's a little shorter compared to the others. But I've not really slept well in the last two nights. So I need to get some sleep in uh, before tomorrow. I got some prep work I need to do. Some cleaning I need to do. Get ready for blowing on the clock tower and all that. So got a lot going on. Got a lot going on. But still happy to hang out with y'all as always. And this has been a very fun night. Sleep all leading up to big. I mean, Chow, you got to get as much sleep as you can. Because then Big Brother begins and all bets are off. You know who becomes your best friend? Coffee. You know who becomes your wife? Coffee. You know who becomes your everything? Coffee. Or just me. Let me speak on myself. <laughs> OG Mole Marathon? No, but Liana and I will be catching up on the Mole Season 2 Netflix edition tomorrow. So by Sunday, I should be fully caught up on the season. Caffeine drinks that are not coffee. <laughs> so what, like tea, energy drink? Do you ever feel burnt out on streaming? Um, I've had moments. I've had moments in my four years. Yeah. Um, burnout is natural in any any of these spaces, whether it's podcasting, streaming. It's definitely natural. Um, when I feel it, I try not let it feel like defeat because I think it's a natural... Uh, development uh, I can't remember when like I can't give you a specific moment of when I felt burnt out um, the first instance I felt it was after uh, my first year after when I did my uh, one year stream anniversary hit I said I was going to stream every day for the month of June I definitely finished the last stream of that month feeling a little bit of burnout um, but it was fine we were okay I feel like when it comes to streaming now, I don't quite have the burnout. And that's because I think it's because I've not been doing as many streams. Um, but also it's because I'm really enjoying it right now. I'm in a good space right now. But there's also been some tough spots like with um, uh, with some negative stuff that happened. That definitely made me feel not good. But we've been on a high, we've been on positive vibes for a while now. So... Ali, they went 43rd, but appreciate you. Welcome back into Lesson 2 Crew, Ali. Uh, do you prefer doing live shows slash pods or ones that are recorded then released? This is a very fun question. If it's if it's camera on Red Wings, live. I don't really care for camera on, but we're recording. But when it's audio only recorded all the time, audio recorded, fun time, can't complain. So they're different because when it's audio only, I can just lean back, slouch, do whatever I got to do. But when it's recorded, when it's video, I'm sitting up straight. I'm trying to like be engaged. I don't want you to think I'm bored and I'm not bored. I'm not like, I don't want to not be there. But when it's audio only, I can definitely lean back some more. Um, so if it's video podcast, I'd rather do them live because I also enjoy reading the chat. I also enjoy seeing the discourse as it's happening, um, giving breaking news. That's always fun. So yeah. I think live is better. I drank a green coffee, which is not coffee. It is lotus cream. Wally, I've never heard of that. Burnout after 100 nuggies. No, that was fine. I wasn't burnt out. I was done with nuggets for a while, so maybe I was burnt out on chicken nuggets. But other than that, no. 
All right, um, chat, I'm going to close the forum now. And how do I find love in a new city? As someone who got dumped two weeks ago. First of all, question asker. I'm sorry uh, to hear that you've had a breakup. Um, but hey, new beginnings are always good. And I hope you heal and, and you move past it fine. You're looking for love in a new city? I don't know. Because when I moved into a new city, I moved in with a relationship. Uh... We are doing marbles tonight, Melissa, after the questions tonight. Um, I feel like I don't know what your style is, but I feel like if it was me personally, I would look through date. I would do the dating app scene probably uh, to begin. Maybe I would do like a cheeky, like go to. I don't listen. I'm the wrong person to ask. I've been out of the quote unquote love game, new love game rather in a minute. Um, but I would go. To, I would personally go dating apps. Uh, new city. I feel like that's a good way to talk to some of the people from the city. Maybe get some, find out where people want to go, what people like doing. I don't know. It's like a scouting mission potentially. <laughs> if Chad has any uh, recommendations, feel free to submit them to uh, Question Asker here. Austin, thank you for the 24th month with your prime sub. No less, I know you got one of these. I do appreciate you using it here on me and coming back into the Lesson 2 crew. Welcome in, Austin. It was my first time hearing about it, too. It was really good. I will post a pic in Discord. Thank you, Walling. We've got Dwight. Dwight Moore, a.k.a. Girth Brooks, a.k.a. my homie Dwight Moore. My good friend, host of the best Blown the Clock Tower streams this side of the internet. Dwight, thank you for the 16 month. Appreciate you. Welcome in. Um, I've already told y'all this, but I will be playing Blood of the Clock Tower tomorrow at 2. I will not be streaming Blood of the Clock Tower two, uh, at 2. So my recommendation to you is check out Dwight. Watch Dwight's POV. He's the storyteller. He gets the full board. And I will be doing my confessional slash my thinkies exclusively when I'm talking to Dwight. So you'll get all those insights there. Also, Brando has been lurking in the chat. We just found out. So welcome in, Brando. Hope you've been having fun. Girthquake just hit the chat. Classic. Hacks, what they were the eighth month. Appreciate you, Hackswood. Welcome in. Player count is a something. Dwight, does that mean more people or less people? What does that mean? <laughs> what other show would you want Arissa to host, Puya? Um, the Circle. The Circle Canada would be great. If Survivor Canada ever happened, would also be great. Everyone is gone. Oh, no. Dwight, how many do you have? Is it like, we talking seven people? <laughs> Six? <laughs> Love Island Canada? Oh, Scarkel, book it. That would be awesome. That'd be awesome. Join a park district, community volleyball, yoga, or something like that. So I met my husband. That's not a bad shout. Polly's not wrong. Um, any, uh, classes or recreational sports, stuff like that. Always a good way to go. Always a good way to go. Or no, Dwight, don't answer it. Uh, keep, uh, I think keep the suspense. I think that's a good way to go. Low key. Uh, currently seven, a few, oh, a few outstanding invites. There we go. Okay, Dwight. Well, whoops. <laughs> I was having a conversation with a friend tonight about giving presentation and improving with experience. I feel like I've learned a lot. Also learned a lot listening to podcasts. Is there anything you feel like you've learned over your time podcasting that's helped you? Yes. I have learned. I've learned that um, the main thing I've learned, obviously, for a live podcast is maintain the eye contact. That's always important. But I've learned to not lean on filler words. Um, this, I, I, as I just do one, this comes with editing the podcast that I send out and also listening to a lot of podcasts. I feel like everyone has a phrase or a thing they say or do to use to like mind the gap of silence as they think of the next thing they want to say. So I typically try to not do that if I can. So some people will hit you with an um or a hmm or a yeah or a true. I try and avoid those if I can. Not saying I always do. I do not bat 100. Arisa for the Traders Canada. As much as I love that Red Wings, Kareen is doing great. And I don't want Kareen to lose the job. Kareen is killing it. A script with y'all that y'all played the one time with fewer players. I do not know what that script is. Um, You know what I mean? 
Wait, what do I, what do you mean, AZ? Anyways, one of mine for sure, but yeah. <laughs> anyways is, yeah, anyways is not a bad one as well. I feel like that's one that you definitely, oh, you know what I mean as a filler. That can happen. That for sure can be one for sure. Uh, absolutely. I feel like I'm an um boy. I don't um a lot, but um, like that, you, you will kind of notice me doing that. But it's definitely something that I want to try and avoid. And you is it's a constant work. You have to constantly work on it. You have to keep it in mind so that you don't do it. And I think the key is it's relatively undetectable. As long as you have a lot of things you're saying and you're not, it doesn't feel like you're just trying to fill space. It works. So if it sounds like you have stuff that you're actually saying and it's, and it's meaningful stuff, it's fine. But if you are trying to figure out the next thing to say and you don't know what to say and you're kind of trying, it's almost like you're doing a freestyle and you're trying to think of the next word that rhymes, you don't necessarily have to do that. I am a decent amount, but I stopped feeling bad about them since because a nervous um is different than a confident um. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. If you say it with confidence, I'm a, so yeah, that's a, yeah, Cap, that's not, not what I've heard before. That's a good one. I say, you know, all the time after a sentence is a filler, my man heists him. <laughs> true it's true all right all right chat the form is shut 3016 aka 7016 questions answered in the pad 7016 questions answered we'll be back next week with some more pad action but now it's marbles time which is still part of the pad but it's different um 716 in the books that's right mandy did a public speaking workshop and learned i throw out a lot of ums ums is a big one is a big one it's a big one but also it's important to remember that just because it can come off as a filler word doesn't mean it's a filler for everybody you know speech and, and doing speaking like this can be complicated can be tough and we should not be uh, shaming one another for these things okay okay cool cool but not the history of computer to leave them. Okay, Mandy, I don't like that. Okay, Mandy, write a quick word in the uh, write a quick number from one through three thousand sixteen in the chat. Actually, this will be fun. We can make this a segment where we look back in the history books and see what the question was based on a random number. Three. Okay. Well, <laughs> you didn't go far with that one, Mandy, huh? All right. Question number three on the form was uh puya has never seen any of the cars movies can you explain this yes i've never seen them i've never seen the cars movies and i still haven't seen any of the cars movies i answered that third of december 2021 still haven't done it uh one 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 uh what is your main goal in life a uh, very deep question 13 13 last one 13 13. uh how did you get connected with artemis um oh you were wondering how i got connected with artemis because of goose goose stuff uh how did i get connected with artemis we met through goose goose stuff how did we meet to get to the goose goose stuff i don't know i think it was like through we watched you her stream or something yeah two, 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 two. All, right, all right chat too many too many chat we'll we'll do this every every once in a while we'll look through the history books but not now three four five six isn't on the form sadly jordan because i deleted the first four thousand questions so you have to be AFK for two minutes. Don't start marbles without me. Polly, I'll start after you come back in the chat. I'll start the game after you come into the chat. How about that? And you let me know you're back. Twins, mom. Welcome, man. Hope you've had a good night. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? His main goal is to finish OG Mon Who Done It. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe never. Maybe that's the, you know, it's like a, you got to keep something intriguing to go, keep going. Maybe that's my intriguing. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe I don't watch it ever. Does Kachow mean nothing to you then? If it's to do with cars, I don't know what it means. Sounds like an exclamation. Like, Kachow! I don't know. I don't know what it means. But life is a highway. And that's a song, isn't it? I think that's a song. Family Feud was fun. Don't know if you talked about it. Just got here. Family Feud was a good time. Very good time. Yes. Exactly, Brando. Exactly. Yeah, chat. I don't know anything about cars. Nothing. Nothing. Mango is to make me cry. 
All right. Let me boot up marbles. So let me just say to those of you that are about to go to sleep or leave, because you don't want to be a part of the marbles portion, I completely understand. That's cool with me. Um, I hope you have a good night. I hope you sleep well. I'll be back. Well, I will be playing Blood on the Clock Tower 2 tomorrow, so come check that out over on Dwight's stream. But I'll be playing Goose Goose at 5 on Sunday. Back with some Goose Goose on Sunday, so if you check that out. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you there. VOD viewers, if you're about to tune out as well, hope you had a good time watching this. Lurkers, hope I don't yell too much in your ear if you're keeping up for this. Love on spoiler hand or next week. Next week. I think let's go with next week, RGB fan. Because I, I would really like to discuss it when more people have watched this episode specifically. And I think next week we'll just have a lot of drama to come in with as well. Um, but I will leave you with this idea. Rob is a production plant. Discuss amongst yourselves and think about it. You streaming tomorrow? No, I'm not streaming tomorrow. I'll be back on Friday, uh, Sunday with the stream. Tomorrow I'll be playing though. And you can watch Dwight's POV to see me thrive or... Uh, not survive or survive i don't know but also just so you know if you're leaving now brando's not happy with you leaving for the marbles portion so stick around you didn't see this episode but you 100 percent agree mel bells come back on sunday and tell me whether or not you agree with it more because after tonight's episode i'm convinced i'm convinced that he's a production plant because woof okay Polly's back. There we go. And that is the sign, folks. It's time for some marbles. So typically, we run marbles in a very simple manner. Watch after we marbles. Sounds good, Mel Bells. Yeah, Love Island Rob, not our Rob, of course. Yeah, if you need to go sleepy, sleepy, hope you sleepy as well. Of course, of course, of course. That's what I'm going to be doing after this. All right. So we're going to do the regular wager, top 20, easy pickings. Oh, Cab Dash, honestly, you're going to love Love Island. Trust me. You're going to love Love Island. This new season, I would recommend it to anyone, whether you're a Love Island or Love Show fan or not, it's worth it. It's a fun show to keep in the background, or even it becomes main monitor content. Facts. It can start as second monitor, and then you realize it's better than that. All right. I've really watched it since it left CBS. Red Wings, in my opinion, it's gotten better since it left CBS. CBS was holding it back. I think Peacock has returned it to its UK glory, in my opinion. Like, it's, I, w there's active discourse that this season is better than the UK now, which was unheard of if you told someone this like two years ago, even. Prediction up, but it ends when Marbs drops. So get your bets in now. There we go. Well, I finished top 20. Uh, Mandy getting away with writing Fluffy in here. Note, the rest of you cannot. So cherish Mandy. Throw a mod emote. If you're happy, Mandy's doing illegal activities in this uh, in this here chat. Who bet 70,000 against me already? Relax. Gross. Bruh. What about Sandra? Thank you. Wow. What show is better now? Love Island USA versus UK. Just copy the last one. Fair. Fair, fair, fair. <laughs> but the season is eating. Very much so. All right. Let's make the stakes juicy. Okay. Uh, top three. VIP badge. 69th spot if we get one. VIP badge. Then. Brando. Type a number in the chat right now. Between 1 and 70. 45. 45 slot VIP badge. There we go. Five races. Five maps. Six for good luck. So first, second, third. Not 45 VIP badges. The number 45. 45 placement gets a VIP badge. 1, 2, 3, 45, 69. 1, 2, 3, 45, 69. That's five VIP badges. Um, and then, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. That's the five. 
Dwight, if you're in here and you send me a number in the next 15 seconds, we count it. Bracket stakes? Where bracket stakes? What are you talking about? What was he doing the last race last week and woke up find out someone managed to first place despite never winning? It's the beauty of the marbles, Scar Kel. All right. Psych. Four? Yeah, no. Uh, we're going to add number 12 uh, because you finished 12th on your season. So it'll be 1, 2, 3, 12, 45, and 69. One, two, three, 12, 45, 69. Those are the numbers. That's what you're looking for. That's what you should covet. <laughs> no, we'll add four as well. We'll add four as well. That's the last VIP badge. So one, two, three, four, 12, 45, 69. Uh, Sugar Angel Step, thank you for the 40th month. Appreciate you. Natsumi Noel on the back end of that as well with the ninth month. Thank you both of you so much for supporting the stream and for being here with me. Step for 40 months. Appreciate it. And Noel for being here nine months. Hope you enjoy. I'm glad you enjoyed the con for nine months. Steph, thank you for enjoying the con for 40 months. Enough to be part of Lesson 2 crew. Appreciate it. All right. All right. All right. So, okay. There's a lot of people putting brownie points in. Might as well get the map sorted here before we kick things off. There we go. All right. Then we move music over to. Oh, this is a good tune. This is a good tune, I think. All right, chat. Get ready. I'll start it when we at least, at least hit 69, I think. So you have time.
Come on, chat. Let's get to that 69. You know we got to get there. Come on now. Squat up. Hey, thank you, Austin. Because love, appreciate it. All right. Also, don't think I didn't notice. Crow sent in 4,000 points to for me to pick a sound drop of my own. So I'm going to pick this one. There we go. Boom. Dealer's choice, baby. We having fun. We're having a good time. Woo! And if you are a VOD viewer, you did not hear that. You did not hear that. Points wasted. How dare you, Kalita? <laughs> Why? Thank you for betting on me, though. We appreciate that. All right. The wager is very close. It's a 50 50 uh, payoff here. No peace for Dwight. Always peace. We love Dwight here. He already knows that. He already knows. All right, chat. Let's go. 63. That'll have to do. That'll have to do. Let me lower the music a little bit so you can hear my voice a little more. There we go. There we go. All right, y'all. You ready? Good luck. Man, you can shut the uh, wager down. It's time to go. Good luck, everybody. And we're off for the race here as the marbles get marbling. You already know how this works. First person that's in the clear lead, which is Ichiyami. We follow your journey for now. Immediately usurp by Somnus. Who's first through the hole though? Danny Becker. Trying to play defense on that VIP badge. Meanwhile, we got Fifth Boot Brando getting involved. Danny Becker, though, in the lead still. <laughs> Not Mother Girth. <laughs> All right, Danny's still in the lead. Putting in a shift by the looks of it. Sal's and fifth boot Brando in the lead. Sal's, yeah. Keeping it going. Keeping it moving. We lost quite a few people. We got, lost four people there. T Venus with the lead now. Actually, everyone's loop Ding. T Venus only. Jesse drops. Mel Bells, unfortunately, has jumped as well. Mandy was in the lead for a split second and is now not in the lead. We got Brando in second. T Venus, though, putting in a shift. A lot of loop Ding here. Opening the door for Jay Knauer. Girth Probes is my favorite variation. Oh, speaking of Mother Girth. We do see Dwight's marble on the other side getting busy. Got a battle of the survivors with Brando and Dwight close to each other here, trying to get that top 10 placement. Oh, that was a zoom. Smooth, all oh, very smooth from JK. With Brando trying to edge that lead. But Duchess is no match for either of them. All right, all right, Brando, you gotta. You see that spray bottle right there? You gotta spray yourself with that, my friend. Because wow, <laughs> filthy, filthy. T Venus takes the lead over again. <laughs> T Venus getting the little bump to the hole. Duchess with the steal. And Duchess is, oh, not your winner yet. Not your winner yet. You got to go down that slide. Got to go down and Duchess makes it look easy. Duchess makes it look easy. Rye guy steals second place. 
Kalita is dancing slow, but smooth. Mythical J takes four. Dwight rounds out the top five. Dwight has found a placement here. Telling Brando, listen, kid, you can say all the shit you want, but I get the job done on the field. I may be a little purple and edit, but I interviewed some important people and nobody, and I mean nobody, can go home with an idol better than I can. Meanwhile, we see Jordan and Mandy finish off here. I also beat Brando, so Brando, get wrecked. Um, <laughs> I'm getting, I'll get some points, hopefully. We're fingers crossed here. Crow's getting a little bump there to help. Topsy with a nice bump assist. Oh, Liv, on the brink of getting there, gets wrecked. Jay Knauer, who was first at one point, also doesn't make it through. Congratulations, the Duchess, with the victory here. With the world record, no less, which means I think a lot of points about to get dropped on us. Well, I say us. I didn't get any points, okay, for that record. Despite doing okay. Well, let's see how everyone did. 36th. Meh, could be better. We had 48 total finishers. A bunch of dumps, unfortunately. Time to go to the next one. Chat. It's called Athletic Abundant Alchemy. What a name. All right. All right, Brando. Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> join up. Join up. Okay. Exclamation play to get involved. Dwight, if you can hear me in the background as you're figuring out your logistics for tomorrow, just slap an exclamation play because you, my friend, could be on the way to VIP badge. Who knows? Who knows? Brando, you are you are a next level troll with that offer. <laughs> this is a cool looking map. It kind of looks like a solitaire board with the, with the cards, with the card designs. It looks simple on the way after that, but we'll see how that goes. Hey, thank you, Crows. Appreciate it, friend. I had a good time with Family Feud, yo. I had a good time, and I'm very happy that I killed it on Fast Money. Um, and by kill that, I mean, I'm happy we had the advantage going in because I think we would have gotten smoked <laughs> if we didn't go first. But it works out. It might sound like I didn't think the pod was good if I was to tell you that I think the best part was Rob at the very end of the pod, but the all the pod was good. That was just unbelievable, unfathomable that Rob would say that. He did steal the show at the end. It was so good. <laughs> yeah, chat. When I, if someone said big brother, what is the first word that comes to mind for you? If you've not watched Family Feud, type the first word that comes up for you in the chat. Thank you. Summer. I said summer, chat. I said summer. And then the, and then the, 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 the goddamn fucking... The, the fast money made me feel stupid. <laughs> Feeds is another good one. Feeds is another good one. Chaos. My first thought was mess. And then I was like, ugh, I feel like that's not it. That's just what I'm thinking. It's like, uh, uh, summer. <laughs> Damien, have a good night. Sleep well. Your strategy. Strategy's not a bad one either. <laughs> Stupid is hilarious. I was one of the ones who answered long. And Nicole, I respect that answer. I do. I really do. All right, chat. 65 of you in here. Let's get it started. Let's get marbling. Let's get marbling. And let's see what the next song we're going to listen to is going to be. 
No, 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 no. Yes. All right. Fasto, did you get in under the wire? You did. I love it. Lord Autumn Bottom in the lead. Let's follow your journey here. You know, Brando's really vying for a, for a VIP badge with the hustle in here. Oh, Lord Autumn Bottom, the sacrifice that the island demanded. Giving the road to AZ and Penny. Penny going smooth down the middle. That's a strat. That's a strat. Losing the lead, though, to... Oh, my God, it's happening. Chow and Brando. A feud that I could very well see. Uh, Chow, first one trying. Ooh, nice bump from Chow. Stay on. Oh, we are getting a lot of casualties here. Polly takes the lead over with Liv in second place. Oh, we lost we lost a, a lot of great people in the marble field. What about shower still? That's two words. It's got to be one word. Monwan is a hilarious one. I love it. But yeah, they we did talk about stools at some point. Shower stools, to be specific. Polly in the lead, Liv in second, Bryson in third. As we've lost about a third of the field here. And I'm not talking Suri fields. Nice bump by Polly. Live right behind. Not giving Polly much breathing room. Polly has to go for a perfect spiral here. A little bump. A bump to the outside could be good. Bryson is first now. Taking the lead. Boyku with a lovely little stream snipe there. Stealing the momentum to take first place. What is this pickle ass track? It does look picklish. Oh, unfortunately, Puya's is out, as is Jabina. Unlucky to both of us. We're out. But Boyku's in the lead. Boyku's in the lead. Can Boyku keep the momentum? Boyku goes up the thing first. Bryson in second. Boyku now about to face. Oh my god, what is going on here? All right. Boyku about to go through one of these other obstacles. Be careful. Be careful. Don't get yeeted. You yeet, you lose. Or you don't lose. Who knows? Oh my god, we'll find out. Chow has been yeeted into oblivion by Chow. Chow for now, friend. <laughs> that was bad. Mandy in the lead. Now, Penny Paper is out, unfortunately. Mandy with a nice move there. Going through the back. Brando trying to get a shift in. Trying to get the victory. Ichiyami is your winner. Followed by Cab Dash. Brando taking third place. Autumn Bottom in fourth. Johnny Macklin. Jesse Bryson, Liv, Tara Teeth, and Mandy. The two mods making the top 10 this round. Interesting stuffs. Oh, no, Kalita. The fireworks tonight happened a little earlier for us. Where it was like clearly people had leftover fireworks. The most baffling thing yesterday was that we were getting fireworks while it was still light out. And we basically um, hypothesized that that was happening because people had kids they were putting to sleep and they were not going to be awake for the fireworks, so they just ripped them earlier. All right, Ichiyami with the big W here. Big, big win. Congratulations. We see where everyone else's points went. A lot of points were dished out up to the top 16. We scroll further down to see how everyone else did. We already know that I failed. Actually, half the lobby, unfortunately, has doomed. A lot of us took L's here. But the good news is there's three more races to get redemption on. Actually, four races then. Yeah. Left over from Canada Day. Brando, where do you think I live, my friend? Where do you think I live, sir?
A classic. It's weird to be wide awake for marbles. Twins mom. It's a good time. I'm happy you're here. All right. You're drinking water? Stay hydrated, Khalil. Love that, love that. All right, let's go, chat. Oh, Brando starting in the way back. Enjoy that, friend. Can't see you from the top of the line here with my squad. Two-minute race, though. Breaking the record would mean a lot of points here. <laughs> but as always, we spoke too soon because just because you started first doesn't mean you get through the hole first. It's all about that hole. Who's going to get in that hole first? That's where the action begins. And that's where we follow somebody. Once we see who gets through the gauntlet here. And it looks like Liv is going to get in first. With Penny Paper not far behind though, I will say. Oh, the marbles are not following the the, the lead. They're not honoring the lead chat. Oh, I got stuck. I got stuck! All right, we got Jay Knauer in the lead now. Liv has lost the lead somehow. I'm assuming, is this the top? This is not, this is so not the lead, is it? Oh my God, it is. All right, Jay Knauer in the lead. Boyku in second. Boyku trying to get another victory here. Ooh, the middle pack went through the cheat code by the looks of it. Took the easier route. I don't know in the lead. Yeah, I live in the US. I live in the US. I've never lived in Nova Scotia, dude. I lived in Ottawa for a little for a little bit, about a decade. <laughs> My, I do not have an IMDb, sir. <laughs> what are you talking about? Dumpf? Absolutely not. Oh, God. Why did it go backwards? The lead is here right now. Little Miss Andre is your leader. And the end is near. There's an opportunity for the record to be broken. Mandy has doomfed. Lala has doomfed. Sal's and Red Wings. Bryson, the latest casualty. Live in the lead once again. What is happening here? Is she living la vida loca? Is she living the lead to be first? And Liv scores first place. Congratulations to Liv. Psych taking up second place. I'm in the way back. I'm like last, last. This is bad, bad. Um, then we got Shannon. Little Miss Andre. Boyku finishing off here. Mimi. I do see the doom fire coming, so y'all need to get in quick or lose your spot. She was some Persian music. All right, we still finish ahead of Dwight, so we're doing something right. Nope, don't say that and then lose to Dwight. No! No! I will end stream. I will... Why did I loop? No! Get him, don't... Yes! Okay, well, it goes. We both tied, Dwight. We both tied. We finished the same. Unfortunate. Unlucky. You know, we can never tell which one of us was going to win that one. It's fine. <laughs> Nope idea, exactly. All right. Here's where everyone else landed. Get a good look at where your name might be. About two-thirds made it. The rest of us took a dumpf in the face. There we go. Do you have a mind? Well, do I have what mind? Khalid, what you talking about? Khalid, what you mean? Everyone join up, join up. You know the words. Do I have an IMDb? I do not have an IMDb. I do not know what Brando's talking about. <laughs> I do not know. I don't know whose IMDb Brando's looking at, but it ain't mine. Liar? Link it. 
Link it in the chat. Link it in the chat. You do have one, but it doesn't say where you're from. There's no way I have an IMDb. That is ridiculous. I genuinely do not think I have an IMDb. Oh, God. What is this? Uh, Puya Zanviki. Oh, my God. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Why is this here? One episode. Which episode? BB25 post pressure cooker reactions has an IMDb page? Why? Taryn, Mike Bloom, Taylor, Claire, Kevin Jacobs, Puya, and Rob. What? <laughs> what is this? What? <laughs> what? That is so weird. That is so weird. Also, I don't like that it's got my f full name in it. Damn it. Agent info. Yeah, you can't get that info. <laughs> and you didn't believe me. I really didn't. I really didn't. Yeah. Uh, who would have thought? But I still don't know where you got the the goddamn uh <laughs> Nova Scotia from. That's weird. All right. Fun. Who would have thought? Stop this. Stop this respawning. No, I'm not. All right, 65 in here, chat. I'm press start now. This is unfair. Why is Brando in the start? Why is Brando in the lead here next to Mandy? Where am I? What? Why am I in the back? This is fucked up. Anyway. It's kind of close to Ottawa. I mean, it's... Is Nova Scotia's far? There. <laughs> I love when I line chat fills the gaps for me. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. Let's get started. Well, thank you, Ike. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, Kroos in the lead. Oh, this is the one where the marbles are bigger than the obstacles. Mandy in the lead. Actually, I don't think either of you are in the lead. I think Brando's in the lead. We got little distractions there. Oh, Brando losing the lead. Brevich holding the lead right now. Brevich loses the lead. Mandy back in the lead. Jay Kanauer hammering through those obstacles like they're nothing. I lied. Zach Faulkner is in the lead now. Getting the hole. Cab Dash takes the lead over. Fast Soda's doomed, unfortunately. Oh, nice. Almost a swish. Oh, we're losing a lot of people. We're losing people, chat. People, I lied. I got doofed as well. This is bullshit. Zach, this cab dash. Almost there. Lands on top, but it doesn't count until you go all the way down. And cab dash is your winner. Jake and I are in second. Zach Faulkner in third. Jabina, Pambella, Penny. Botswats, T Venus, Bryson, and Danny are your top 10. Brendo wins here from Nova Scotia. Relax, okay? Where's everyone else? Oh, there we go. Easy pickings victory for Cab Dash was almost close to the uh, record. But hey, you got the W. That's all that counts, all that matters. We did lose half the squad there, unfortunately. What's wrong with Canadians? Nothing. I lived there for 10 years, Brando. Pipe down. <laughs> All right. There we go. The rest of us took an L. We move on to the next map chat. Two more maps. Funky, aggressive hunt, and aggressive, aggressive anger. Why so aggressive? That's my question. Why so aggressive? Join up, chat. Let's go.
All right. You did it, Arabin. Welcome in. Did we interrupt a blood on the clock tower session, Mayhaps? What you been up to? <laughs> Welcome in. All right, chat. Let's get it going. Fix 65 people in here. Love it. Let's get it going. Good luck, everybody. Let's go. I'm in the middle of the pack. Not a bad place to be. Russ in the lead to start it off here. Well, will Russ be the first through the hole? That is always the question here. Blonde Clock Tower, Goose Goose Mobile. Busy night for you, Arabin. Having fun playing them games? Love that for you. Cookie Cutie in the lead. Oh, I spoke too soon. Scarkel somehow skipped everybody and is going this way. Is this the better way? We'll find out. We'll find out. I don't know. Oh, no. I hate these. Keep floating. Keep floating. Nice. All right. I'm allegedly in the lead, but I don't trust it. Oh, I doomed. I, I should have shut the fuck up is what I should have done. I should have shut up. But I didn't, so I got punished for it. Scar Kellum, because love doing a dance, because love is in first. A lot of other people jumped in line, though. Oh, meanwhile, Blue Daisies is so much further ahead than everybody else. Blue Daisies gets in through the hole, you go. Scrolling down. Blue Daisies, bomb, 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 beam, bomb, bop. Into the little maze. Squeezes by into the lower level. Into the thingy. All right. It's saying allegedly Brando's in the lead or Carlita's in the lead, but I'm not seeing them right now. It might be way ahead and I just don't know it. But I think Blue Daisies is actually the one in the lead. Yeah, there we go. Kroos and Mimi are out. <laughs> You're good, Kroos. Oh, Blue Daisy said, I'm going to wait for everybody else because I don't want to be too ahead. Blue Daisy's not going down here. There we go. Blue Daisy's going up now. Hitting the final stage of this race, I think. <laughs> you're good Kroos you're good vibes immaculate oh blue daisy's going through easy and finishing in first place congratulations we now go to Kalita live as Kalita tries to finish strong here with a second place finish so far so good is there a lot of people behind you there's actually quite a few people so you should uh, clutch up clutch up and I think you have done oh my god there we go Easy pickings for Kalita, our second place finisher. Meanwhile, Brando pulling up to the scene, to the function. And Brando is your third place finisher. Kansas coming in. Kansas, can you finish strong here? Kansas flies through. Makes it through with a little loopty done. Kansas fourth place. Arabin said, I'm happy to make a game after playing all the other games and finishes in top five. Polly in sixth. A lot of people dumping. This will be a huge one. For the finishers. Fruit Loops finishes up. We got Pambella and Red Wings. Ooh, Little Miss Andre sneaks in for that top 10. Only 11 people completed chat. And, and Blue Daisy just got, won the record. Believe me when I tell you, this is about to be a nutty one. I think a lot of people here will make a lot of points and might be our winners of the VIP badges, some of you. So we'll keep that in mind. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, God. <coughs> oh god all right all right take a good look at the top 11 everyone else unfortunately we didn't make it we'll go to the last map here finishing strong in the aggressive aggressive anger do not know what that means <laughs> so everyone join up get ready get excited for a two minute map here two minute record map actually should i say
Gross. Nice. Nice. I appreciate that. So, for the VIP badge hunters, you are looking for first, second, third, fourth, twelfth, forty-fifth, or sixty-ninth. Those are the VIP badge for the night. You'll be what? 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 Nicole? What are you talking about? <laughs> Kalita's on the hunt for the badge. <laughs> It could happen. All right, 10 more seconds, and then I'll press start. The name of the song is Sorry for Skanking. But the British meaning is different than the American meaning. <laughs> All right, 62, here we go. Back in my day, sorry for party rocking. Back in my, don't back in my day at Russ. <laughs> you know what's funny? Um, I think I was watching Love Island and they played, um, what's that song? Sexy and I Know It, it still hits. That beat still hits for me. All right, good luck everybody. Yeah, it's a top 20 Puya bet. Top 20 Puya bet tonight. You know what, Jake Canar, you've been involved in the earlies a lot. That song was so right, Brando. It still hits. Oh God, Brando, don't say shit like that in my 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 chat. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my God, second grade. That came out when I was in freshman year. <laughs> Ban him. <laughs> yeah, I think it was either in freshman year or sophomore year of university. <laughs> when did this come out were you seven <laughs> no this came out after though you were like probably in what grade seven maybe cab dash makes it through it's funny because there's some songs i know from they're like from which era roughly because of their involvement with social media so, for example, this song was definitely during the Vine era. So, it wasn't TikTok era, so it's older. Thoughts on Fanny Flutter versus the Kitties, Praying versus Coochie Tingles? As reality to use your catchphrases? Oh my god, great question, Scarkel. Fanny Flutters makes sense. I feel like Fanny Flutters is one of the ones where, like, it sounds better with a British accent than it does with, like, an American accent. The Kitty is purring is not the one. Um, and then... Coochie Tingles, I think, is my favorite one. That might be because of the way we uh, we utilized it on the MILF Manor pod, but... But I think uh, the Kitty is purring third, Coochie Tingles second, Fanny Flutter's first, or vice versa for first and second. There we go, Cab Dash. I think I was in my third or fourth year of university when this came out. I think. I don't remember. Because love gets stuck. Oh, this will finish this here. Skarkel is the winner. Congratulations. Oh my god, Topsy is stuck. Oh, there we go. Topsy makes it through. Oh my god, get in. I got a seventh place. That better work for something. It's not a world record though, so it's fine. Alright, we need we need the doomfer. We need the doomfer. I'm sorry, it sounds mean, but I want the Doomfer. Oh, this is a classic. I don't know. Mandy finishes. We got Jesse. We got Twins Mom and Christine trying to finish the race here. There we go. Carkel, congrats on your win. I got some points on the board chat. I'll take that shit. I've had no points. It's nice to get involved a little, but is it a top 20? I don't think so, but we'll see. How many people completed this race? Scroll down a little slow. It is a bop, Russ. It is 100% a bop. Okay, 51 people still did complete the race. So there's a lot of people. GG's, y'all did it. Y'all did your thing. You're looking for first, second, fourth. First, second, third, fourth, sorry. 
Top four, 12, 45, 69. That's the six VIP badges available here. Keep it up, Pui. Hope you're having a nice start of the weekend. Appreciate it, SM Van Boys. Hope you're doing well as well, friend. I think we're jumping in tonight. Say a little hello. Let's go. Third place and recipient of a VIP badge. Brando with the third place VIP badge. Boom. Kalita getting that VIP bag. VIP back. VIP badge back after asking for the VIP badge back. And Blue Daisies with the victory. Congratulations. Once I click the mouse once more, we'll see if I'm in the top 20. So if you were bet you betted, this is your last chance. If you betted no or yes to say goodbye to your via to your brownie points because I didn't make the top 20. But let's get the VIP badges in. So we've got Bryson, Blue Daisies, Kalita, and Brando, the recipients of the top four VIP badges. Um, there we go. If It would have been funny if Brando was one more lower in fourth because that would have been the badge that Dwight was responsible for. Um, but that didn't happen. Blue Daisies. Just get my spelling right here. Got to make sure I don't pull a cross. Just kittens. Just kittens. All right. Then we hit up Kalita with the VIP badge. Kalita, who does get a VIP badge, but loses a lot of brownie points because of the bet on me, which I feel like I'm on a bad streak chat. I think for three weeks in a row now, if you've bet on me, you've lost uh, money. You've lost brownie points. Let me give one to fifth boot Brando. So next week when you don't bet on me and you lose, sorry, if you do, yeah, if you don't bet on me and you lose brownie points, remember, Fifth boot, Brando. There we go. And Bryson Hunt. Bryson Hunt, 34. There we go. And then we got Lord Autumn Bottom. And Lord Autumn Bottom is the recipient of the 12th place finish. Sorry, no, that's fifth place. Lord Autumn Bottom, my bad. You're not getting a VIP badge. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I goofed, I goofed, I goofed. Uh, then we go to DC Duchess, who got 12th place. DC Duchess. DC Duchess. Here we go. All right. Boom. So now we got off the line. Sounds good, Polly. Have a good night. Take care. Let me know where to send you the money for rigging it. Listen, how about we exchange money when hands when uh, when I meet you next? <laughs> I'll take it in cash. <laughs> All right. Let me scroll down and see where I landed, where uh, who got 45th. And 69th, if we have 69. 45th, I finished 37th. Boo. Penny paper. Congratulations, penny paper. No, not exchange hands like fight. Exchange hands like money exchanging hands. Ciao, you're just, just so ready for a fight. So ready for a fight out here. Lord Autobot, what up? What up? All right. Penny paper. Exchange hands means to fight, though. I mean, it depends. L English is a very complex language where things can mean many things. We scroll further down to see who's the coveted number 69. Clutch reasons. One, oh, one race done. Okay, there we go. Clutch reasons. There we go. Did we get 45th? We did. 45th was um, Penny Paper. Yep, yep, yep. There we go, chat. That was fun. We had a good time. Good ending to Marbles tonight. I hope you all had fun with me. Thank you for hanging out tonight. Good times were had. We hit the 7,000 question barrier. We got it done on marbles. You lost brownie points. You won brownie points. Some of you won VIP badges. Some of you are about to go watch the Love Island episode that you didn't get to watch because you prioritized coming here for stream first, which I do thank you. It really means the world to me that this would be priority over Love Island because Love Island is fucking amazing. So I hope you enjoy that. Um, like I said, 
I will be back on... Well, I'll be back tomorrow at 2 to play Blood on the Clock Tower, but I will not be streaming. So go over to Dwight's channel, Doing More, to check it out. Sounds good, Kroos. Hope you have a good night, my friend. <laughs> of course, I'm 46. Twins Mom, next time, next time. Continue mid-up marbles. What's new? Marbles be tough, y'all. It's a tough nut to crack. So you excited for the long-awaited Fufu bracket finally? I mean, manifesting. I do respect it. I do respect it. So yeah, tomorrow too, doing more. That's where you can find me playing Blood on the Clock Tower. Then Sunday, I will be back with some Goose Goose Duck at 5. Okay? Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Hey, shout out Doc. Okay, chat. I'm going to head on out now. I'm going to send y'all over to Dennis, comma, the menace, who is currently ripping some fall guys. So go say hello. Drop some love, drop some energy. Even if you're about to dip out for the night, go do your own thing. If you could join the raid just to give some good vibes to a fellow streamer, that was always, that's always nice. You know, they, they, they can feed off that energy. So go ahead and do so. You're here Sunday. Wait, Brando, did I send you a message about Goose Goose this week? I did not. All right, Brando, you're in. Brando, you're in. All right, you're in for Goose Goose on Sunday. Perfect. There we go, chat. You now know someone else is in. I did send you a message, Brando, just so I remember that you're in for when I do the graphic. <laughs> All right. Take care, everybody. Hope you have a...